Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Spend a moment to thank Tribe of Cast for the follow. Follow between streams. Or the alert won't play. That's fine. My my heart and intent was there. I promise you I clicked it. But it's like, nope. Oh, well. <clears throat> such Such is life, I guess. So, I believe where we last left off, we fought a uh, Jewel Beast, which was way easier than the SNES one. So, the game is kind of a weird mix of, like, pretty low difficulty, and then your AI partners die. <laughs> Make the battle a solo encounter. I will say, it does feel like our AI friends are dying way faster than the SNES version. And I don't even mean like by like a few seconds. They're 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 dying like 80% faster. I swear they could barely stay alive because they don't dodge anything. And I think some of the damage is tuned that you're expected to kind of dodge roll out of the way. Welcome Promethean, by the way. But the problem is like the AI doesn't, so them doing more damage than normal SNES means they just die instantly. So it's just kind of like, uh not, not a fan of that, for sure. I, I think it reminds me of, like, some of the earlier East Party System games where partners can just, like, lose all their HP. And the hard boss fights end up not being the ones that are necessarily challenging to you, the player, but more like you end up in, like, a kind of a grueling stamina match because your partners just kind of eat all the healing and or there's they basically don't contribute anything to the fight. So it reminds me more of, like... E7 in that sense, where they will just go down very fast, and then, like, if if you are not playing, like, not near perfect, but if you're not playing well, you just lose instantly. So that could be kind of annoying. So I'm kind of glad we didn't go on a higher difficulty, because if I had to, like, really grind it out with them, that would absolutely kill my patience for the game. I don't really want to be in another one of those grind fests, for sure. So I think I made the right decision with the playthrough so far. I was worried it would just be too easy throughout. And there is challenge. It's just not in the way that challenge, I think, should be added to the game. It's more me playing around like really, really bad AI than it is like, oh, you know, like, oh, you got to dodge better. I'm like, it's kind of one of those things, chat. Like, I'll take some hits here and there. I'm not going to say I'm going to play it super well in most of these fights, but... Trials of Mana. I think the difference is pretty stark when we played the SNES version. I think I used like eight or nine healing items on uh, Full Metal Hugger. Then we fought him in the remake, literally perfected him. So it's definitely not like the game is challenging me more. It's more... I'm going to have to get used to some of these systems. Why is this... Why is this not confirming when I hit confirm? Hold on a second. Uh... Why is this game resisting me? I don't understand. Am I missing something? Hold on, let me let me close out the game. Do I have PSO controls on or something? Okay, I do. I was like, I literally was hitting a, I was hitting confirm and it was canceling. I'm like, what's going on? I was getting I was getting outplayed by the game for a little bit. Let's try this again. It was not me fumbling the controls, I promise you. I, I will admit when it's one of those moments. That was uh me testing something and it didn't get disabled. Spirit of wonder. Anyway, let's try this, but this time for real, being allowed to start the game. Hopefully you're doing well, Promethean. Wow, it really doesn't let you skip until it starts doing the dialogue there. That's interesting. No. Welcome, Calvishon. Oh, they actually give me the plot summary of what I was doing last. Look at that. I was going to say, we have to meet Von Boyage. Did I talk to you before? I don't think I did. Echoes meow. 
the west from here, take Golden Road. Lots of trades used to come out, but the road is infested with monsters, yada yada. Okay, so we should have the Nitro Might or whatever it was called. In order to use Von Boyage's cannon, we got at least three question mark sightings of Little Cactus. I think I found them all so far, but could be missing one. Uh, so yeah, we'll just proceed this way and launch ourselves to the next area. Now, what I'm gonna assume is Little Cactus will be in the other place that I couldn't do, couldn't reach because they blew up the bridge. Hmm? Who are you people? Brought nitromite. You forgot? Oh, right. <laughs> I didn't forget. I just couldn't remember. <laughs> so, um, what's that? Nitromite for again? <laughs> I'm kidding! I remember now! It's for my revamped cannon, right? <laughs> excellent! Excellent! Head to the backyard, and I'll meet you there. You cheerless for senility, says Chris. The adventures of Hawkeye is too weird. Talking companions continue. Welcome, by the way, Chris. Yeah, I so I, I guess I guess we'll talk about it. I mean Actually, you know what I should do while we do this? Let me let me rank up. I put strength. Let me get luck up, because I think luck influences stuff for this character. Uh I mean I might have to remove his sturdy. I don't think he's gonna live. I'm gonna do item find. Oh wait, that could go on anybody. Um I don't think I'm gonna get conflagration, I'm gonna be real with you. Let's do lucky fine then. Keep our HP boost there. That should be fine. So which which character do you think has a fitting voice? Which characters do you think need improvement now that we've heard the cast? I'm trying to decide if I like Reese or Kevin less. I'm, I'm going through my head on this one. I think Hawk is fine. Isn't she a beauty? This is the revolutionary, ultra fabulous Turbo Cannon number two. Wind shear, check. Targeting, check. Uh -huh. Locked on to Volsena? Ready? Mmm, I like the point. In terms of voice, Kevin is the least fitting. Reese's voice is far more inconsistent. I, I'm gonna have to actually 100% agree with that. I think that's why I'm having a tough time choosing. Like, Von Boyage, the vo voice actor basically fits the role. Hawk, I think, is pretty solid. But something about Kevin's like, eh, I can talk and... Pause, it just is really awkward with the voice direction. Spin, spin! I kind of expected it with the deeper voice, to be honest, too. Like, much deeper. Like, when I hear his voice, I don't think, that? like, ripped werewolf. <laughs> no, just holes. It looks like this is the only way to get to Volsena. No one is perfect on the first try. I suppose we should take this in stride. Let us be off, everyone. No one is perfect, chat. Hmm. I don't see anything over here. Just double checking I didn't miss the cactus and the bushes or something weird. I need to remember, I changed my confirm. I did not mean to save over that file. I thought I made another save to check something out. Oh well. That's fun. So let's see, free chest. I might as well just take it. Hmm. I'll go for the shiny thing. There's like a sign over there. It clearly wants me to go over there, so I'm not going to go do that. 
Oh, look at that weaving in between them. Gem Valley ahead, precipice closed due to rock slides. Oh, so this is the thing I didn't notice the first time we were here in SNES. It's definitely more noticeable that there's something over this way. I think lends to, you know, the backtrack being a little easier. Damn, I'm surprised I avoided that many encounters. That's good. Listen, this is a this is a walk only playthrough. More chocolates. Ooh, threading the threading the needle on that one, chat. What's this? Hmm. Oh, it's kind of like a multi-dimensional thing. Oh, oh, I see what it is. So I think originally there were kind of holes you popped into and then shot out the other side, but they decided to lengthen it by making it a dungeon. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. It feels weird that I can't just walk across there, though. Chat saying, voice is rough, Hawkeye's voice is fine, I don't really care about him, Charlie says pretty good, the problem is the script itself. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the dialogue seems to be the SNES, so they didn't really touch it up for better or for worse. <sighs> I think it's gonna force an encounter. Oh, this is my fight. No need to travel. <laughs> Item seed, that's good. Is there any treasure in here? Well, there kind of is. At least the bats are surprisingly tame to kill. Like a power attack knocks them out. So that's a pretty easy fight to take if I need experience. I'm gonna. S How did. They respawned already? What is the respawn rate in this game? Holy. Uh, mm. I don't know if I agree with that chat. Oh, I didn't realize there's another one still there. Hey, uh, you folks head into Volsena? Oh, you want an audience with the hero kid? <laughs> well, I'm Duran. I'm a Volsanian soldier. It's a long story, but I was away on a mission when I heard rumors that the magician kingdom of Altena was planning to invade from the north. Just came back to report to the king. Sorry to leave, but I'm in a hurry. Volsanian soldiers are top notch. Our enemies are magic users. Don't let anything happen to the king. I'm begging you. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Okay. So I guess that's because we didn't have Duran in the party before. We got to see his little cutscene. Hmm. So there are... I wanted to get by without fighting. Oh, I got clipped there. Unfortunate. Curiosity. It almost feels like I can make that. Because when we, when we attack upwards, we briefly rotate. I'm just curious. I just need like a little bit of a step. Not quite. It's like if I could just get a little more height somehow, I could have made it. So close, chat, yet so far. Because I don't think it's. Well, maybe from here. No, too much momentum is lost. Yeah, not quite able to reach it. I'll try one more time. I'm obsessed with potentially going out of bounds. We're skipping something. Oh, not quite. 
Yeah, if I was allowed even just like a little bit more height, I probably could have made it. Hmm. Don't really want to fight anything on this island, but I think they're going to force me to. So there's a chest over there I can't reach. There's two paths I can take. Go in this hole first. Trying to ease it, something like that. I kinda don't want to do any more battles. Like, I'm good. I'm just looking for chests. I don't see anything in here, so that's a waste of time. Dangerous. As I said before, the bats are pretty easy to kill, so if I just want something that's relatively easy XP, I'd rather fight them. Stupid hedgehog. Nice level up. The elixir, not bad. So I have a lot of healing to maybe keep our allies alive later. Watch out for the enemy. Got you. I got tagged like instantly. That sucks. I hate to pick on such weak targets. But... So if I take this one, is it just gonna pop me out the hole that I saw earlier? Which is fine if it does. I just want to confirm. Okay, it does. Can't do anything about that. Let's go back in. Hmm. So all these allegedly make progress. We should work together to defeat this Interesting that I started the battle attacking. That seemed kind of unfair. Victory is easy with reliable companions. There is a chest back here. Oh, uh, I was trying to roll over. I got interrupted. Anyway. 800 money. Okay, that was worth it to me. That basically just bought me an item. Hmm. What's the difference between these two places? Let's take this place first. That put me on the upper part. Okay. Out of the way before we can go. Oh, come on. I was hoping I would retreat by then. Unfortunate. Does this sit the other entrance? I just want to verify. Mm, kind of. So where does this one go then? Or is this the other side and I'm just not used to the radar? Oh no, this is what I was looking for. Okay, this was what I was looking for. Bear claw attained. So there's weapons? Or is that a consumable? I don't remember. Oh no, it's a weapon. Oh. So that saves me a ton of money then. So the game does drop weapons now. That's new. That was 100% not a thing before. Stay true. This is my 
fight. No need to trouble yourself. Too bad. Down. Yeah, bats are at least fast enough to kill. I don't know what I would be... The day-night cycle. I don't know what I would have been doing as Angela. I'm sure there's some way to get more MP, but I feel like I would just be running out constantly. I think I picked up an item. Earth coin. Is there a chest here? That's all I want to know. There is. Fine. I'll kill it for the game's sake. GG to him. More chocolates, hand axe, magic rope attained. So it does seem like I'm getting slightly more items. Okay, so I want to do throwables later. So I think that's all I needed to see. I don't like the respawn rates. No time for this. <laughs> Chat, not a fan. I'm like, I'm not even leaving the area and they're like revived already. That's crazy. Okay, I've gone pretty far without seeing the little cactus. I'm assuming I missed them somewhere. Hmm. Hope to go back maybe at some point. It just feels weird that there's this many areas and I didn't come across them. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourselves. Retreat! There we go. Couple wishes. So there's the town. Hmm. Nothing hidden over here. I'm hoping the enemy goes away for a little bit. I just want the chest. Fucklet attained. So I think that covers everything then. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't see an obvious way to get back to Stone Gap either. So on the way back, we'll walk back and then I'll I'll come back. Cause it'll be faster if I have better weapons potentially. Lots of item seeds. I was gonna say, so if I look at this map. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't see anything at the beginning. That's the weird part. Hmm. Unless there's some other way to go that I missed from one of the moors. Interesting. Well, for now, we'll proceed. I'll go back and check it out. Just not literally right this minute. Let's get the plot out of the way. So I don't see anything over here. I could get healing if I need it. There's also- actually, there is a path over here. Let's check this out briefly. There are more items over here, if nothing else. Galvisham confirming their skills to get MP back after battle. I mean, like, otherwise she would be pretty useless, right? What do you mean I can't escape? Why? Why are the Raphites unescapable? Waste of time. I mean, they would have to do something because there's so many forced encounters in this game compared to the other one. I just feel like your character wouldn't be able to do anything. 
Another couple of wishes. Hmm. There's a chest over here. I wish they didn't dart over to me. I think just use Whirlwind Spear and completely whiff. Like that, that's just kind of embarrassing. More chocolates. Uh, those are okay. As I noticed, they tried adding more MP jars, but it's like, even if I was using two MP at battle, I feel like I would be out in like three encounter, well, four encounters at this point, unless I'm like really heavily grinding. Please let me run. Thank you. Hmm. I hate to pick on such weak targets, but... Oh, I thought we had explored all this map. Okay, so there's a whole area over here I haven't seen. That's good then. Let's continue. Maybe maybe the cactus is over here somewhere. Oh, I was hoping to get by. I don't know where our ally is doing. I'm assuming they're stuck. Yeah, they're stuck. Jump, Hawk, jump! <laughs> Stop running into the fence. <laughs> Look, Chad, he's trying. He just, he's not, he's not doing very well. There we go, teleport to me, there we go. Oh, I see little cactus, actually. Okay, I feel better, Chad. You found little cactus. Almost at the ability to discover undiscovered treasure on the mini-map, presumably. So then this should presumably be the way back, which should be a dead end, which is good. I thought it was on the other side, but it looks like it was this side. Please leave me alone. Hmm. So this should go back to Stone Gap. There should be a one-way. So we'll see if there's any treasures or another little cactus, potentially. Then we'll head back to town. Because I know this won't result in going anywhere. Another item seed for later. Hmm. So we should be coming up to the broken bridge we couldn't cross earlier. Oh, I see little cactus already. So that was good that we went this way. So I was expecting one little cactus. We got two. Check how many undiscovered treasure boxes are left you from map. Keep forgetting how much I liked how the little cactus looks, yeah. Ah, uh, so you have to hit the map to see it. Hmm. Okay, not what I was thinking it was. Bit disappointing. So that means I probably left a chest on the other side, sadly. On the plus side, even though there's no fights here, we are getting a ton of items. Yeah, maybe there was a chest on the other side somewhere. That's unfortunate. I don't think I'm going to go back for it, then. Yeah, I forgot to check here after the boss battle. It's probably right near the other edge. What's that up there? How close am I allowed to get? Oh, I had the right jump before. Oh, I'm like bouncing off the terrain. What the heck? It's not what I was expecting. Physics don't have to make sense, chat. Ooh, was I clipping into the wall there a little bit? That was interesting. I 
I mean, I am going places I'm not supposed to go. It's just not in a helpful way. Give me one second, chat. Oh, come on. It's like they don't want you climbing the wall. Who would have thought, chat? How did I get there the first time? I thought I did it from here. I managed to actually land there, and now I can't do it again. Or do I have to do it without attacking, because there's like a weird property with attacks? Nope. Okay. Oh, that's right, I can't save with this. Speaking of which... Oh, that's right, I can't use it that way. I mean, it feels like I'm making progress up here. <laughs> what are the odds I'm going to clip out of bounds and lose all my progress, though? I feel like decently high. Ready, Krisha? Something like that. I am really curious about one thing. I have to get up here first, though, to do it. So it does seem like you could climb some terrain you're not meant to. Just that this jump in particular is more annoying than it should be. There's like some weird momentum that you go backwards if you collide with anything. And it doesn't behave in a way that it makes too much sense. It's kind of like I'm rubber and the wall is rubber. And if I'm attacking, I just bounce off of it. You can see like I can almost get up there. So I'm going to try one thing. No, it doesn't make the distance I wanted. Okay. So I climbed a little bit, but that's not good enough for what I want to do. Can I? Hold on. I want to try one more thing. Oh, they won't even let me on the bridge. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, if they're going to let me on the bridge, I was like, hmm, can I start climbing that rope and do weird things? But no, they, they thought about that at least. I know. No, no bridge. I got banned. Ha, oh, chat. I want to try one more thing. So I can make that jump by just jumping, right? Can I... No. Hmm. So it doesn't seem like there's something that gives me a lot of forward momentum and vertical. Jeez, that's so awkward. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, hold on. He's starting to get stuck. There we go. Yeah. Give me that infinite fall time. Look at him go. <laughs> Am I falling? Am I walking? Who knows, chat? I'll never land. <laughs> I can get out of this, right? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I love his little, like, rapid footsteps when it realizes I should be touching the ground. Okay, I'm half amused. It was half worth it. I managed to infinitely fall. <laughs> the fall yet never touched the ground. Truly an achievement. Alright, so we got a weapon that I think will save us probably about a thousand. Then we picked eight uh, picked up 800. The game forced me to get a couple kills here and there. I wasn't even paying attention to how many random items we picked up. Like, I saw we got Hand Axe and Earth Coin, for example. Uh... Hun Oil has magic damage done to an ally. Interesting. I don't think we ever even used that in the original. So we have a couple things that imbue Elemental, which could be useful later. Moon coin decreases enemies max HP. Might be worth it. In the future, three hand axes from all the hobgoblins. And six seeds for later. I mean, I'm probably just gonna keep my stats for now. I could raise spirit. I'll learn later if I should or should not do this. But for now, we might as well just keep it up. Because I feel like if she, cause she's already maxed in spirit, if I get her up to 5 strength, that would be a pretty big damage increase for me. But later on, I might regret it, and hopefully we could reset points. And if I can't reset points, it's also fine. We'll just call that learning the system, because I don't really know what abilities 
currently are in the future classes without looking it up. So I'm not really sure how much I should be holding. But I think at least going towards what is assumed to be their caster stat and stat and strength and saving the rest for later is probably a safe call. Wow, only two money. Uh, that was a pretty garbage drop, chat. I'm not going to lie. Like, we're at the point where two money is hilariously terrible. Like, even candies cost 20. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Yeah, we got 36 from a random encounter, for example. It's over 18 times worse than a random encounter. Oh, I just wanted the item. So I think we have a pretty good amount of healing. I mostly just want to avoid encounters for now. We started catching up in levels, which is not my intent. It's more that some of these enemies are just blocking treasures. Oh, there's a chest up there that I missed. How many chests did I get, by the way? 12 out of 14? Oh well. Hmm. This is my fight. What? No need to trouble you. <sighs> the, the no escape encounters are getting to be. It feels unnecessary. Oh well. Rip the one chest that I'm gonna miss. Because I'm not gonna go look for it. Unless it's near the gem area and I can't get it yet, which is, I guess, fair. I avoided that encounter. Good. 30 in a chest? This far in the game? That's garbage. You know, chat, I was just praising the game about giving me rewards that are worth it. 30 is not even remotely worth it. 30 should be like what the random drops give, not treasure chests. Like, the minimum it should be giving me now is a candy worth of money. Wish you'd never cross paths with us. <laughs> Disappointed, chat. Yeah, I don't know why the Ravites just refuse to let us leave near that one- Specifically that one spot. I don't really get it. Tina Mages attacked. His Majesty is in danger. What? Oh, right. We can't just go straight to the shops. <clears throat> Party finally made it to the kingdom of Alsena, only to find it in shambles from the attacking Altanish forces. Well done. Release the magical creatures into the castle and fall back for now. Yes, sir! <laughs> Awkwardly, the music restarts. Enemies from the bridge. Oh no! Gotta get to the king! So much destruction. Gotta defeat Altana now! Gah! <laughs> right, chat? Just gah, randomly. Hmm. I feel like the narrator was sassing us briefly. She's like, the party finally reached it. I'm like, well, listen, <laughs> I'm busy exploring. Don't don't try to pretend like we care about this kingdom. I don't really want to fight the robots. Hmm. Oh, come on. He didn't go on the ledge. So sad. 
Uh, let's try to avoid an encounter here. There we go. Again, if there's no enemy encyclopedia, I super don't care about killing these. And even in general, I still don't really care. Hmm. Oh, I can't interact with the bodies? Oh. I don't see anything over there. See some dead people down there. There's some chests... Somewhere in here. I haven't found any. It's a big oof to me finding things so far. Uh, I'm gonna try to go through here and see what happens. Uh, Porticullus is down. Can't do anything about that. Uh... Hmm. I'm not really seeing where these treasure chests would be, though. Because I can't drop down there. Presumably one is in there somewhere. Do I get in a fight just to pop an urn? I don't think I do. I think I would rather just avoid the encounter. <laughs> right, chat? No thanks. <laughs> nice try, though. Uh, there's the chess pieces. Does this also count? Is th oh, it still counts. So it's possible all the chests are in here as well. Hmm. We're gonna look behind the stairs. Speaking of which. They're just behind there, like Sweet in 4 style chat. Hmm. So there are side doors. Let's see what happens if I take them. Uh oh. <laughs> Thou must climb the stairs. Uh, can I avoid this encounter is the real question. Oh, I can't jump over the railing. Oh, I still avoided the encounter. Wait, what? Why am I... Why am I blocked? Why Why also can I not jump off this rail? In please. Is this path open or something? Oh, okay. Piece of chocolate... So I don't think there's a way to get around them without triggering a fight. Did avoid damage though, so that was kind of nice. Oh, really? There's nothing hidden over here? Oh, this is where I would have put a shiny or something. Also, I can't jump over the railing for some reason. That railing is impossible, chat. <laughs> they really want to make sure you can't clip through. Speaking of which, look at the wiggles! I'm being aggressively wiggled at, chat. I don't know how I feel about this. That is some intense wiggling. Despite how much he wiggled, I still got out of that. Okay, well, let's check down here for some items. No treasure chests, but this might give us item seeds, which would be worth it. Chocolate is not worth it. And of course they lose like 80% of their health. Chat, round of applause. This is what I'm talking about. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? That's stupid. <laughs> like, I'm fine. They're almost dead. I know. So upsetting. In the face of strength, do not waver. We cannot delay. Uh-uh, don't you cast spells when I'm out of combat. Did you see that, chat? What a little cheater. What a little cheater. 160 money. Eh. It's better than the other stuff we've seen, but still not perfect. So there's another door over here, but I don't understand how to reach it. Oh, I had to go the other way. 
Um, let's save, and then we could go back. Sorry, Duran, I don't really care about you right now. It's good to know this is where he would have appeared in the story had we not selected him, I guess. Anyway, tell Duran it's uh, his problem now. Oh, that was such a good dodge of the enemy. Yeah, especially with how fast enemies respawn here, it really doesn't feel worth fighting things to skip them at this point now. Oh, I rolled slightly too close. So let's see if there's one last chest in here, and then we'll go back. I think that's it. 70's okay. 70 was not worth a detour. This should have been like... I don't know, another healing item or like a walnut or something? That would have been worth it. All of us, together. <laughs> catch me. Oh well, at least I could say I explored more. Only two chests I didn't find. Oh my gosh, I actually got by that? Hell yeah, chat. I'm at 4,000 money. That's a lot. Oh, there's no end to them. I'll take care of the stragglers. Don't worry, you need to go on ahead and check on his majesty, please. Hmm. And what is in here? 70 money. I like how the bosses, quote-unquote, we fought earlier are already normal enemies, by the way. Nice. Ah, oh, there is a chest over here. Oh, wait, hold on. Was I infinite falling for a second before I jumped? Oh, yeah, he gets stuck on the plant. Plant too strong, chat. Please nerf. Another couple wishes. So at least I have some backups against the uh, upcoming boss encounter. So I'm probably going to need those cups of wishes. Behold, even the hero king is powerless when paralyzed by magic. <laughs> you must be the crimson wizard of Altena. Tell me, why would Valda, the true queen, mount this cowardly attack? Well, she seeks to control the mana stones and thought it best to destroy Valsena before retaliation. Her majesty is not troubled by past alliances. Hmm. A pity. That is all you wish to ask? <sighs> so be it. Take this! Stop! Forgive the interruption. Until the next time, your majesty. Your Majesty! Are you all right? Duran? Have you returned? Oh! Your Majesty. We are searching for the elementals that reside near the mana stones of the world. Please, tell us where to find this kingdom stone. Fairy? I see. Then you are all traveling under Fairy's guidance. I have met one of your kind when I stood against the Dragon Lord. In truth, I was chosen by that fairy. Well, what? Sadly, that fairy was cut down at the hands of the Dragon Lord. I was spared. Hmm. If fairies have come to our realm again, this bodes ill for the world. Eight mana stones exist in the world. The powers of earth, water, fire, wind, light, darkness, the moon, and wood originate from these stones. You will find the elemental spirits of each stone living nearby. We have already located the elementals of light and earth, Lumina and Gnome. Hey, 
you doing? <laughs> Six remain. Sorry. It you caught me off guard. You travel to Poloport by boat from Visor. From there, you can reach Laurent's Manor Stone. It is the Windstone. Oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. We will find the stones. Hmm. You need Silphid's wind powers in order to find the remaining stones. Return once you have found him. Safe travels to you all. Well, that was simple enough to drive off the attack of the kingdom. We just walked up to the red, excuse me, the crimson wizard. He decided he wanted nothing to do with us. And still fits wind powers in order to find the remaining stones. Return once you found them. Well. Durin says I was the castle guard when the Crimson Wizard last attack. To atone for my defeat, I left. So I guess, Sean, if we're interested by the time we get to the end of the game, should I just play as the three characters we didn't play as in Trials? Or is Chad gonna still ban Charlotte? <laughs> I feel like we haven't seen Angela at all. She'll probably be the protag. If we play another one. Then after that, it's really up to chat favorites. Technically, Durin and Angela would have a shared story. Nothing back here. Once you've experienced war, you can't help worry about how long peace will last. There you go, Chan. Why can't I- why can't I jump off of this really? Game, please. Take notes from East. I want to be able to just hop off of stuff for no reason. Just showed someone to the courtyard so they could set up a new cannon. Makes sense to be beefing it up. Come to think of it, I think the cannon mechanic said something about blasting all the way to Maya. It's almost like he's talking about shooting people out of the thing instead of cannonballs. Haha! <laughs> Wouldn't that be a thing? So remember last time we did this, it was awkward because we found the cannon person but couldn't do anything with them. So I think we had to sleep at the inn or something oh to advance the plot. Oh, you mean my older brother. I'm Von Jure. I know you want to get back to Maya, but hang on. I'm still setting up my brother's invention. Wait. Okay, leave it to me. Wait for the cannon to be finished, chat. Allow me. Okay. On it. Allow me. On it. Okay. Allow me. I was just curious if I gained any vertical height while doing this. Okay. On it. But it seems like when I swap, it doesn't let me attack. Because that was also how East had a lot of exploits. So I guess in a good way, they didn't copy East. Okay. Leave it to me. <laughs> We're not going to be doing any Lacrimosa of Donna out of bounds. Where I just attack repeatedly to ascend into heaven. Although, to be fair, in Lacrimosa, that was way more difficult than it should have been. I don't know if it was supposed to be easier on, on, like, console compared to PC. But I found that trick very annoying. That's why we never ended up speedy running that game. The trick to go out of bounds in the boss arena was, like, 60-something consecutive attacks without getting hit in the air. It's a bit much. Found a candy. Yeah, I did it after like 12 attempts and it took me like literally hours. It was not worth it. I would not be able to stream it kind of things. I saved after I did it just to prove I did it. And then I'm like, yeah, I don't think I could do this on stream. It was too annoying. The rhythm needed was too intense. So relieved the town was spared the devastation of Laurent. The tragedy could never repeat itself. There's a treasure chest. Anything over here I should be aware of? Ah, right, so there's a different set of chests between here and the other place, at least. Oh. Well, little cactus was near the dog. Where it was like, wasn't there like a beware of dog or something? Yeah. So pretty easy to find, I guess. What's our next reward? 10% discount at the shops. 
Uh, that's worth it, because I don't intend to grind very much, if at all. Given the pace of the game, we've skipped like 80% of the encounters so far. So even with me going to places that are not required for plot progress, we still avoided quite a lot of combat. Hmm. So I'm basically looting before we go to the inn, because the intent is that I'm going to hopefully get another item seed or two. Speaking of which... So that way when we go to advanced time, the cannon should be ready. Hmm. Cat, cat goes morale. Six money. Not worth it. Medicinal herb is okay. Strange to see these flowers bloom at the time of year. Seems like a bad omen, but who knows? Says the guy after his kingdom was invaded twice. Hmm. Mostly just finding odd change here and there. Seem to be in a hurry, yet you're wandering around aimlessly. What's this about a cannon? I see. You're idling away your time while you wait. Such you spend time talking to folks around town. You never know what useful information you'll pick up. Once was on my time on a stroll, I came across a cactus. Not just any cactus. This one could move on its own. It was quite a shock. Dear me, I've prattled on now, haven't I? Ha ha ha. You already found what they're talking about. Welcome. Come, take a look. We're at 40 candies? Holy. Chat, holy. That is insane. Other chocolate. You're forced to be reckoned with if you save the king. I mean, we we literally did almost nothing. We just walked into the throne room and the fight ended. Stardust herb, which I think cures ailments. Hmm. We'll talk to you, I guess. Apparently, there are powerful beasts sealed within the monostones. At least that's what it said in a book. What would happen if they were released? Benevidons. Earth, land, umber. Oh, this is the names of all of them. <laughs> oh, we know about the darkness one. Don't worry. I'm going to remember. We're going to respect the ghost ship chat. I'm not dealing with that BS again. Naughty novel? Ah! Um, why? Why can't I swap characters when I'm in town? It's disabled. It's weird. Well, I'm in a... here. Hmm. There's the monster manual that doesn't do anything. The mist... The mana stones, they're full of mystery. That's the entire book. So 18 and 38 for our class upgrade. So that hasn't changed. Hmm. We'll go to the tavern in a moment. Ooh, that four money reward is so not worth it at all. Every time it happens, Chad, I just feel sad. It's so bad. I did not mean to talk to you. Just trying to tumble past you. Hmm. Do any of you have anything interesting to say? I'm not going to repeat their, like, boring dialogue. I'm just curious if any of them talk about the plot or the lore. Like, that guy just talked to us and said, need anything. There once was a time no country would dare think of invading the money of Alcina. Hope nothing happens to the town, blah blah blah. So we just informed her about the attack on Jad. I realize we never went back and saved the merchant from before, so we probably missed out on an item or something when we were escaping the prison. So these are... So I found a weapon that's better than the ones I could get at the store. So we're already at max items. So given things are only costing 400 right now, we're way ahead of the money curve. Hmm. I did find all the treasure boxes apparently though. The two money is so bad. I really hope it scales up a little better. 
There's the fortune teller. People's lives are 99% destiny, but the rest of your future is always shaped by your will. It's up to you to decide. We call that 1% hope. What's that face for, huh? Why not get a reading from this old fortune teller? Uh, she can't read our future if I remember correctly because the sprite is here. Hmm. Nothing is coming to me. That's never happened. All I see is a fairy creature fluttering around. Yes, a fairy like that. Oh my! Are you a real fairy? It's my fault. It's impossible to divine the future of a person possessed by a fairy. There's nothing wrong with your gift. It gave me a cold sweat. I think I should rest for today. Close the door on the way out. The thought of the fortune teller has granted you a new ability. What? Banish? Status effect time shortened by 50%. Okay, so we do gain some abilities by seeing cutscenes. So yeah, I've definitely missed up then. So probably if we had freed the merchant, for example, we might have gotten something useful. That is a very impressively strong jar that we can destroy in one touch. Hmm. I think I've explored enough. I'm, ju I'm just gonna sleep at the end. I should level up the item thing, I think. The wishes, Basilisk Fang, Vitality Elixir, Magic Elixir. Demon Claw, Mythic Cookie, Fairy Walnut. And I guess the other question now that we're here, I'm pretty sure there's a new game plus. Do we even bother new game plusing or just start over again? Honestly, I'm not usually a big fan of new game plus unless it shows me more than what I would normally get. Magic Pot now level two, higher chance of enemies dropping seeds. Seeds have a higher chance of yielding good items, okay. Because I, I think the intent behind it, chat, is that you're intended to slowly pump up the difficulty so that you would take all these elixirs and either save them for specific party members or uh, just use them and make sure that all your characters are equally nice across all the playthroughs. Heading to Laurent. I would recommend stopping by the Night Market in Bazir on your way. Many things for sale that may help you on your journeys. Summer items sold at the Night Market you can't buy anywhere else. Might as well take a look, right? I'm from Bazir myself, so I'd love to recommend it to others. Welcome. So, like, for example, if we new game plus, I'm pretty sure I could carry over, like, the magic one for more MP over to the other spellcaster to make the game easier. Or I could just say I'm doing a new game each time, which honestly I'm also okay with, if we just want to see what the game is like. I believe there's one additional difficulty that was spoiled for me, so beyond hard mode, there's something called No More Future, which I think is a reference to Legend of Mana's extra difficulty. I don't think I'm ever going to play it, spoilers. <laughs> that, that I have no interest in. I could in theory give hard mode a try. But my worry, as I said before, is we're just going to fight something that requires, like, some stupid grind. Because our allies die too quickly. Well, anyway, we did manage to 100% everything here, so let's continue forward. Chat has a long time to think about it. Maybe we'll open it up in the Discord poll. When we're done with this playthrough. Hmm... Well, I can see the cannon. Love how I just have like a bazillion healing items. I'm Von Jour, younger brother of Von Voyage, and he told me all about you. He even gave me this cannon to help out with your little adventures. Hop in! I'll send you back to my brother's place in Maya. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. I'm a much better shot than he is. Ready? Oh, uh, we might as well just go back. I don't think there's anything I want to explore.
I like how trusting we are, like, as characters in-universe. They're like, yeah, we're just gonna build a cannon that didn't really exist here before. Trust me, you won't die upon impact somewhere. Like, we're literally the first people testing it. Okay. So we should have everything we need for the night market. I'm thinking we'll get a lot of strength ups. And then I can buy enough buffs to last me the rest of the game. If needed. I don't think I need anything from here. Do you say anything new, Hawk, now that we're here? No. Alright, so no dialogue updates there, sadly. So we might as well just continue forward. Oh, that reminds me. Am I automatically in dash still? I wasn't even looking. If so, I apologize. I was not an automatic dash. Again, why call it constant dash if it's not on all the time? <laughs> Do you know what I mean, chat? I feel like that is such a mislabel. Like, I, I do not want to toggle it. I just want it on forever, game, please. I don't want any fights. It is unwise to get in our way. I was out of range. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Leveled Hawkeye, not bad. Away we go, chat. So I did manage to get all the chests here. I believe we just gotta go... Stick to the north for the most part, and then we should be fine. Time to work together, everyone. There we go. Hmm... Did that to avoid the encounter chat, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm like, nah. Little detour. It is unwise to get in our way. Oh, seriously? Try and catch me. Love that random jar was more lucrative, pun partially intended, than some of the stuff we found in town. So the guards are no longer here blocking our way. So we know we need to sleep here to get potentially some useful items. I'm curious if they improve the night market at all or not. So for example, is it possible for items to now stack with magic buffs? Like we have to challenge the conceptions. It's possible that they do. We should be able to board a ship to Palo here. Let's go to the docks. Hmm. <gasps> so I believe one of these places should be the quote unquote haunted house. It might be this one. No. So, yeah, we, we already kind of know the lore of this place. We, if we come back here at night, we should be able to get quite a few more items. Stardust herbs. Uh, could be useful in certain areas. Not Right now, it's not useful. Welcome. <laughs> come again. Oops. Well, lots of wares to browse. Oh, boy. I could spend 2,100 and only take four less damage. What a bargain! I can't believe it. Well, lots of wares to browse. Uh, I think I hold off on purchases. So we can purchase the next tier of upgrades to do nine more damage, which is actually relevant because of how much damage seems to scale in this game. But right now, not worth taking.
Hmm. Oh. Did they get rid of the ghost house? Wait, did they actually remove a place? I think this was the ghost house. There should be... Yeah, they got rid of the character. Listen, Chad, there's not much I remember when we play through some of these games, but there's a youth going and peeking in a door, and he's like, oh, this place is haunted by ghosts, yada yada. And then it just turns out it's because the other guy runs the night merchant store. That's why he's only there at certain times. Why did they remove that from the game? I'm sorry, we were in here already. Did, did they not want to have dynamic NPC placement? Is that why they removed him? Why can I not pick this up? Thank you. This is like tumbling in place. I'm like, come on. Yeah, we'll sleep briefly. So right now the night m market is closed. I don't want to get in the boat. Going on the boat now would be a huge mistake because we definitely would benefit in terms of speed for clears by doing this, even if it costs a little bit of money. There's another chest. Hmm. All right, so let's use the inn, wait till night, come back out. I think we talked about this before chat personal pet peeve i really don't like the sound of snoring or fake sleeping sounds in general really bothers me do not want to hear it to me it's like nails on chalkboard every time i hear it i'm just like Ugh. like i get it all right so now let's go inside hmm there's another treasure chest. 500 money is actually huge. This fortune teller, I think, says there's 100% destiny. There's no point, blah, blah, blah. People's lives are 100% destiny. Your future's already decided. There's no hope. Don't bother. You know, you can always reset your training points and try again. It'll cost you. If I say Kevin... 1650? Holy... That is way too expensive for right now. Holy no way. No Looking way, chat. Ah, now normally I'd offer you a deal on indentured servants, but uh, I'm sold out. Someone already bought the last bratty boy I had. That kid <laughs> had a few screws loose. Kept saying he was a prince or something. What? That boy might very well have been Elliot. Where is he now? Welcome, Kirk. You knew him? Duh. Sorry. But the man just bought the wares and left. I didn't pry. Oh, since business is business. <laughs> oh, have mercy. I, I, I sold the kid to a red-eyed man. <laughs> That's all I know, I, I, I swear. The voice acting, I swear. I cannot let this go. People's lives are not goods to be bartered. You should be ashamed. So she's gone back to the uh, Teen Titan reference for voice acting for this role, apparently. Uh, yes, ma'am. Understood. I will change my wicked ways. Just please spare me. Ugh. Red eyes. Well, that won't be relevant in our playthrough. Oh, we gained a new ability. 20% chance of canceling all allies stat decrease. I don't know how relevant that is. Honestly, when we play, there's like, what, two bosses? Yeah, Starfire, exactly. There's only like two bosses that really do that, unless they really revamp them. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. So Poto Oil is the AoE heal. Which I could use to make up for the fact that we don't have a healer. 
I guess I could get like a few of these for now. I don't want to get too many. Actually, you know what? We'll come back later. I don't need them right now. We have enough chocolates. I should be good. I'm going to watch the dancers dance. Aurora sisters, famed entertainers of the night market. Shall we dance for you? Oh my gosh, that voice acting. Shall we dance for you? Why did she say it like that? Fine. I'm mostly doing this to unlock potentially another ability. Where is the spotlight coming from? The thought of the Aurora Sisters has granted you a new ability. Increase magic attack by 5% in battle. Okay. That's actually decent. If I was playing a mage character more, I would have liked it. Oh, they're talking about the volcano eruption. Don't worry, we'll get to that later game. You're an adventure, right? Come by the docks and see me. Sure. Lots of wares to browse. Hmm. <laughs> Come again. Why did they rearrange the night merchant layout? That's fine. I guess it doesn't super matter. Alright, so we need two of these. Come again. Oh, good choice. We need like six of these, if I remember correctly. Get three of these. Dispel all enemy effects. This is the thing, chat. It wasn't called this in the one that we played, but this would have helped with the final boss. I'm gonna get two for now. I don't think I need anything else. Oh no, we need strength ups. So I think the rest of our money is gonna go towards strength up. Good choice. You come again. Rip our cash, chat. Give it a salute. I bought all the items we need for pretty much the rest of the game. I, it, Well, I guess our final enemies might change a little bit, but, you know, at least we have the basic elements down. Lots of to <laughs> come again. So we'll see what we could get away with. So all of our money will basically be fed into that. I don't really need upgrades. Yeah, the Dispel All Enemy effects is specifically if we get another boss like the, what was it called, the Archdemon, which was horrific when it did defense up and did all those other things that wasted our time. If I really need money, I can sell some of our candies, but I think for now we're not going to bother upgrading our weapons. We have all we need to basically one-shot the boss. Ideally, all of our money is going to go back towards strength increases. We're going to be going quite a while without being able to take advantage of the strength increases, which is a little concerning, so that's why I got... I think I got nine, right? Yeah, I got nine of these. So they, this means I can deal with three bosses, and then by the time we're coming back, we should be good. We need to make sure we save some for the ghost ship, because that was horrific. And I believe there was more than one boss that was weak to wind, and that's why I got that. And if not, it's not a huge money loss. It's annoying, it cost me maybe two strength ups, but not the end of the world. Skipper says I'm preparing to cast off, but it's taken a while. Let me take a walk and come back in a bit. What do you mean, come back in a bit, you jerk? I've investigated the town. How dare you? <laughs> right, chat? I'm already done. Matello says shh. Look on the rise, I saw something move. I bet it was the ghost ship. The skipper talking about it. Wish I could ride on the ghost ship. Oh, so he's over here now. Oh, so they moved him from the top of the town to the bottom of the town. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Metello, and as you can see, I'm obsessed with the supernatural. I really hope the ship's haunted. <laughs> Are all a ghost? Uh, I don't know, but gonna bring it back. No matter what. But gonna bring it back. No matter what. But gonna bring it back, no matter what. Hello, I can just keep resetting the dialogue chat. But gonna bring it back, no matter what. I think he's gonna bring it back no matter what. 
think I got ahead of the plot because there's additional things we have to talk to for no reason. It's a mysterious item called the Minor Mallet, but even the Merchant Guild that runs the Night Market has gotten its hands on it. I'm hoping I don't now have to go pick that up. I thought we had to get it back, pick it up on the way back. Because we, we do need it for something later. Don't get me wrong, like that is a plot required item, but I think it's not until later that we 100% need it. Let me talk to you just to verify. Yeah, I don't see the person that I think would give it to us normally. Well, lots of wares to browse. <laughs> Come again. <gasps> yeah, I don't see the person here. So we'll, we will have to return here for the mallet because that's a required plot item. But I don't think we get it yet. Where, where is the person it wants me to talk to? Are they like up here? Oh, they're up there. Come on, Let's see where it is. Welcome, Chaos Vania. Hopefully, you're doing well. Welcome to Zero. I'm on the tourism board for Merchant Town. You look like from around here. If it's your first time, make sure to visit the famous night market. Find rare items. Don't forget to watch the Aurora Sisters. And they're now telling us how to go to the night market that I've already been to because I got ahead of the plot. I don't think anything updated in here, so we're just gonna leave. So yeah, we gotta get some money. We have an okay amount of strength boosters, so if nothing else, that should be pretty effective for a while. That'll be 150! Oh no! We got cash locked! Oh no, I gotta go fight things. Oh, that's so sad. Or sell items. That is so sad. Now must pay to progress. Welcome. Well, we have a hilarious amount of couple wishes. Why do I have, I almost have more of those than I do chocolates. It's kind of silly. Also, why do the elixir sell for so little? Uh, Come again. Okay, we have literally enough to go progress the plot. And if we need to do anything else, it's not happening, chat. Oh, you can't jump down from here. Can you jump down from here? Actually, did... Hmm. I didn't think about if there was another... I didn't think about if there was another little cactus sighting. Oh. I was about to say, I was like, I was going to check here because I didn't check behind this building. But I guess that's convenient. Okay, well, I found the little cactus, apparently. I would love that 10% discount for later in the game. But we absolutely needed this now because I need to progress the plot. Well, anyway, I guess that solves that, that question I was about to ask, where I'm like, w I haven't seen a little cactus sighting. I wonder if he's in town somewhere, which is where my thought was going. Goodbye, all of our cash. So yeah, it's it's even better if we hold off on purchasing any weapons now on top of that, just for this purpose of the fact that we're going to get at least a 10% discount and therefore save more money to potentially get buffs. What is it like? Huh? Let's make sure we buy what we need once we arrive in Palo. <laughs> I'm literally bankrupt. That's not possible. Oh. I have to say, the boat travel in this game is much worse than the SNES. What's with, like, the horrible... look of the... Wait, are we getting ghost ship right now? I really hope not. Because before, when we were exploring on the SNES to give us context of where we were, it always had, like, maps in the corner. That feels like a really poor choice. Why did they get rid of that? Because this is how I could learn to come here in the future when we get Flammy. Right, Chad? Like, I vaguely recall where things are because I played the SNES version, but eventually we're going to need to know how to come back here. And we don't even have a context of, like, what direction in the world we just moved. When you have a difficult battle. Nice try, game. Cute one. That's cute. Hello, Port. 
So yeah, I believe the way back will be a forced boss encounter. So we need to make sure we save strength ups for that fight specifically. And ideally around this point, I should get debuffs. Territory under the control of the Navarro Nation. Move along. Uh-oh. Something's not right. They're acting like they don't recognize me. Isabella must have gotten to them. Hey! Cat got your tongue? Ooh, there's a chest. Curses! This is Isabella's doing, I know it. At this rate, all the Navarlins might be under her witchcraft. Stop! Reese? This isn't the time to start a fight. Hollow is in a terrible state. We should ask around town and find out more. <laughs> like she pulled it we would for the other mana stones after all. Just look what Isabella has done, yada yada. What do you have to say, old man? Asking if we could set sail. No thanks. Yeah, we we need to scrounge every bit of gold we could potentially get. So I'm gonna be looking for shiny shad. They're actually relevant right now. Okay, I have enough to buy some small items if I really want to. Don't think I'm gonna go in the item shop yet. Let's talk to you. Hmm. Let's explore around the shop since the last town had something interesting there. Speaking of which, got another chocolate. Let's see what's around the armor store. What do you have to say, Reese? I'll not let the Navarro agents remain here. Okay, nothing on this side. Oh, there's a little cactus. Oh, I think we're doing pretty good. All right, Chad, it feels, feels good. So two more times and I'll get a discount, which I will desperately, desperately need. I don't think the armor or anything is upgraded. I could check the weapons very briefly since they'll upgrade along with the armor. But that was a big complaint we had about the SNES version where armor just honestly wasn't worth taking. Oh, there's the cat. Niccolo? It is you! Uh-oh, he's dot dot dotting, his eyes are blank. You have to know me. Come on! Isabella must have gotten to you too. Man, he's got a bad case of the shakes. Horrid creature. Hmm. No love for little cactus. Well, lots of wares to browse. <laughs> yeah, same stuff we saw at the other place. So yeah, there's no upgrades here. Don't need to worry about that. First they steal his feet, now they steal his soul, pretty much. Oh yeah, are his feet clipping into the ground again? They might be correct now, I'm not sure, maybe. Did you hear Navarro managed to infiltrate Citadel Laurent? Hmm. I'll go in the inn. Talk to you. Gust Hall, that's the cave up near Heaven's Way. What do you need up there? I mean, there's a giant wind statue blocking the entrance anyway. Got curious, it went for myself. Let me see it for yourself, I suppose. No need to take my word for it. Oh, we get to do all that fun stuff later. Talk to you. Captain Reese? Huh? Your Highness, you are alive! I am so glad you were spared. Liza, is that you? Oh, how fortunate! Hush! Please, Captain, we must be discreet lest the Navarlin agents overhear. I am not the only Laurentian survivor. There are many more in hiding in the mountains. Captain, go to the Sinosa Meadow. Hey! You gonna take my order or not? Oh, oh, uh, sorry for the wait. Rick says taking people at their word, heresy, pretty much. Oh, it's just, we've seen most of Reese's cutscenes before, that's why I don't really have any comments about it. 
But it's interesting to see that Hawkeye has a little more to add to the story. Which is kind of funny because we're not focusing on their story at all. In this playthrough. <laughs> their, their antagonists will be killed basically off screen equivalency. It will not be a satisfying resolution to their story. But hey, at least we get to see what Kevin's all about. Yeah, go view our SNES playthrough if you want to see the other antagonists. Well, I kind of like this remix. Hmm. We do need to make money somehow at some point. This will be interesting. So there should be a beach to the south because that was the place that we had to use repeatedly once we... Uh, okay. I mean... I mean, that one was kind of obvious. But eventually we'll get one of chat's favorite buddies. And knowing where the beaches are is actually somewhat important for later. I was mostly just checking down here for treasure, but whatever. So one more little cactus sighting and we will get discounted shops. Which will help us more in the return tr trip. In the mountains. Be careful. The mountains are full of dangerous creatures. Find your friends soon. Which means technically I could have waited to get the other elements, but that's fine. There we go. A quick little dunk at the bird. Oh, they nerfed the needle beaks. Oh, <gasps> they're not in the egg form where they become like horrendous feather shooting monstrosities. Oh, they got hard nerfed in between games. Can we agree, chat? They were horrendous. Remember them in the SNES? Holy, they would just like one shot the party. It is unwise to get in our way. Did they not want to? Did they not want to animate them coming out of the egg? That's kind of lame, if so. So I could drop down there if I really want to. Oh, there is a chest. I should do that, actually. Oh, interesting. I froze time for a moment there. Anyway, we got to start rebuilding our cash totals. The harpy not even flapping its wings is certainly something. Can I really not jump this game, please? Dangerous. Don't think so. They will not lose. Ever. Oh, they actually got a kill. I was not expecting that. Hmm. Well, at least it's good that they're able to get the kill, I suppose, without needing everything upgraded. I can't seem to jump up here. That texture looks really bad. What happened? Why is this rock like this compared to the other ones, chat? Do you see what I mean? Like... It looks like I'm playing with, like, two different graphic settings. Like, did they forget to texture this? What happened? Why does this look so smooth compared to the other rock? What a weird choice. I do want to view the sign if we can. That plateau heaven's way. Uh, I'm gonna go this way briefly, just look for chests. <laughs> it's Blur Rock. You're right. So, <clears throat> so we know our destination will be to go to the field. I could, you know what, let's just go there first. Just because I know we have to go north anyway. And if I have to explore, I'd ra just rather not backtrack. Man, resetting looked way too expensive for me. So what happens if I try going to the hideout that I totally, definitely don't know is over here? Okay. Yeah, I totally, definitely don't see the cave where we're going to come out of later. Oh well, time to time to have a sweet dream in the field, chat. I mean, oh no, whatever could happen coming into the poppy field equivalency. Ah, ah, what? Uh, some nosa flowers. 
Our heroes defeated by flowers, chat. We did it. Huh? Where am I? Captain. Thank goodness. This is our secret base. We have been preparing the remaining Amazon forces since Navarro attacked the Citadel. Oh. We chased after the kidnapped prince during the Navarlan assault, but unfortunately, we stumbled into the Somnosa Meadow and succumbed to the sleep spores. Once the wind blew the spores away, we awoke to a cold trail and the citadel burning in the distance. We have failed you and Prince Elliot. Please. I am simply happy that you are alive. Thank you, Your Highness. Once your companions are awake, please come to the meeting room. Everyone wishes to see you, Captain. <laughs> wow, Kashim delivered that with any less enthusiasm. Everyone wishes to see you, Captain. I'm so overwhelmed with joy to see you. Can't you tell by my voice, Captain? <laughs> Come on. Line delivery, please. Am I gonna have to voice all these characters, chat, if we play another playthrough? Just mute them. Just kind of rolling my eyes. Fight into our last breath, yada yada. Let's go over here. Yeah, I was like, man, I felt nothing from that. Citadel Loren is known to be impenetrable, surrounded by crags and harsh winds that protect it. Retaking it will not be an easy feat. I do not know if we will succeed. Okay. There's Hawk. Glad to see survivors from the Citadel, but knowing that Navarro is the culprit makes the whole situation difficult. Okay, there's a chest. Wow, chat. I opened that from like a million feet away. Did you see that? I, I wasn't even remotely close when that accepted it. Holy. I didn't realize I kicked it with my psychic powers there. There are more survivors than I feared that. Oh, wait. Than I feared. There were more survivors than I feared. This is truly a blessing. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't think that makes sense. How? What? Tap, please parse that sentence to make sense to me. Normally, if you say that I... I think I know what they were trying to go for, but that's not how that sentence reads. <laughs> yeah, I think it was supposed to say, like, I feared there would be no survivors. Dot, dot, dot. It's truly a blessing that there were more. I think is what they were trying to say. Instead, it sounds like she's like, damn, they lived. <laughs> now they'll know my secrets. They must die. Like, that's just kind of how it came across. Wait, who do I have to tell? Wait. Oh, it's just somebody on the lower floor, maybe. Um, okay, over here. So there's the guard that stares out into space. She talks about how they're like brainwashed, I believe, if we talk to her. Yeah, being afraid there were less survivors. Yeah, exactly. So, something about that was not phrased correctly. Recaptured an agent in the meadow is behaving oddly. Okay. So let's go talk to them. Oh, it's gonna make me go back up. That's annoying. Yeah, instead it was kind of like... I, I like to think she's plotting their demise. She's like, damn, I let Elliot have the wind crystal to doom the kingdom and how dare they survive. <laughs> 
There'll be a tactical meeting in the next room. Sure, let's proceed. Your Highness, I am so pleased to see you well. Please, do not strain yourself. <laughs> I am fine, child. How can we take the Citadel from the thieves who have it overrun? A frontal attack would easily be rebuffed by Navarro. Is there any way? Forgive me, I am a mere caretaker. I never learned tactics or strategies of war. <laughs> Wait, we should consult with the sage Dom Perry. He may have wisdom to impart upon us. Dom Perry? Yes! Back when the world was waging war on the Dragon Lord and his unstoppable forces, Dom Perry advised the Hero King on strategy, which led Valsena to victory. Where can we find this tactician? Hmm. He is difficult to locate. Dom Perry is Cora Poker. They are small, reclusive beings that dwell in Rabbite Forest, in, in south of Jan. Then we must go and find him. Please wait! The Cora Poker do not like larger folk such as us. You may not be able to meet with him at all. So, what do we do? Hmm. Dom Perry may not agree to meet with you in your current forms. You must appear less human and more... Uh, Cora Poker-like. Uh, you must find the legendary Minor Mallet. Rumor has it that the item is in Bizer. With it, you could possibly pass for Cora Poker. Oh, right. We have to do this first. Never mind. I should have held my purchasing for later. My bad. I, I thought the minor mallet was after we did the next couple of events that I realized we can't do Gust Hall without Jin. And I think we get Jin from poker. Oh, well. So we lost like 500 gold. Not the worst. I can always make it up for it with candies. But welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. Oh, awkward day night cycle. Yeah, it's fun. That means I could get more strength ups, though. Are you are you gonna cutscene me again? You are. Hey, this way. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Kim, you have to warn me if you're gonna voice a character like this. Hey, this way, guys. <laughs> Golly gee, like, why did she say it like that? I'm not using your cannon. I I don't want to use your cannon. I'm gonna do this. But I'm gonna ignore this. Huh? Von Voyage's cannon. Oh, you know my cousin. The name's Messi. Nice to meet you. Oh, hopefully you get some rest, Charlie. W will this reach by, sir? But of course. Are you ready? No. Okay. Oh, there's Loa Cactus. I had a feeling, chat. Something was up here. Alright, so now we could get the discount. So I could get a couple more strength ups. So before we do that, let's finish exploring in case we could get an early cactus. In case there's one, like, right in front of, like, the... Wow, thou must use the cannon. Wow. Never mind. I guess I got punished for not exploring ahead of time. I'm being forced back to a place I don't want to go to. I would have liked to have explored near Gust Hall and the Navarro Fortress up there. Why do I have to do this cutscene again? Will this? But of course. Are you ready? Well, that's really awkward. Yeah, that voice and design, they do not match. 
Okay, whoever whoever did the casting and direction for the voices, please fire them. <laughs> right, chat? Just genuinely, please fire them. Like, some of the lines are coming off as comedic, and it's not supposed to be funny. That is so unfortunate. I had to come back here early. Well, do I save money for strength ups? thinking about it. How much money do I have? 1,200. I could afford to get weapons soonish, but then I have to pay to... Go you know what? Let's not get any strength ups yet. I think 9 should be good enough. So I gotta talk to... Was it you that gave it? Oh, maybe it's you. Oh, never mind. They have the plot icon here. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, running a shop isn't as fun as I thought. Well, enjoy your doodads. I, I think I'll go take a nap. Why did it make me come back here just for the minor mallet? I do get strength ups while we're here, just in case. Let's get six more. Well, any money going forward will go towards weapon upgrades. I think that should cover me. Strength up is pretty good. We just need to potentially get more weapons. 270? How did you go up in price, you rip-off artist? Right, chat? What is that BS? It was 150 and it went up to 270. Man, why is it so expensive to travel in this game? Like, we're getting treasure chests that barely give like 90. He's seriously gonna charge me 200? Wow. Let me check outside town real quick. I don't really want to sell more candies. It's actually getting kind of annoying. The disappointment is immense, though, Chad. I just want you to know. I'm very much annoyed that I need money. Need like one more fight, I think, to get gold. Oops, that's not what I wanted, but that's fine. Ooh, he multi strikes with his attacks. That could actually be important to know for later. I think that's enough money. Stupid. I'm not selling our candies, chat. Like, I'm, just, I'm drawing the line. Oh, that's MP. Never mind. It was purple, not blue. Okay. Uh, is there anything worth getting in the training? No. It increased luck. Give her more strength for damage. Eventually, I might have to reset their stats. Which is kind of unfortunate, because again, I don't know how much that actually impacts. Because in the other game, you would always level strength, but in this one... Might not be worth it. It could delay our spells pretty significantly. So on the plus side, I did at least put some points in Spirit. I think Luck and or Dex goes for uh, our ninja friend. I guess the question if I want to make the gameplay different with the current character. I believe the light route is more like thieving, and then like the dark route is more ninja. I don't think ninja has a lot of synergy with our other character. Got the minor mallet. Now we can be Cora Pokers. We must take care not to be found out. Don Perry is known for his intelligence after all. 
yeah, that's not gonna happen. So anyway, from that standpoint, it's kind of like, if I focus on Ninja, I would potentially rely on Reese to debuff their magic defense. Or if I go Light Route, I could see what the other abilities are like, because I don't think they were super worth using in the other game, but it's possible they got a big upgrade in fixes. I think there's like traps and snares and stuff like that. So from a gameplay perspective, the light route would be stuff I haven't seen before because it wasn't worth taking. I think with Reese, we'll go the dark route. And for Kevin, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go full dark route. It's pretty much, do I want AoE heal on him? If so, I'll go light route. Or do I just want raw DPS? Which given the fact we might end up soloing a lot, raw DPS might be the right call. So, I have some decisions to make. So, I might go light with the thief and dark with Kevin to see how it goes. I mean, I think one of his classes is called, like, Death Fist or something. Because I'm worried, because, like, the ninja would normally be a lot stronger if we didn't have Reese. Because, basically, his ninjutsu causes stat downs. But if we already have a character that does stat downs, it's kind of redundant. So, like, we would benefit... Oh. I did miss one, apparently. Hello, little cactus. Occasional double XP boost. Okay. Uh... So we were here before, I think. Is this is where we escaped the prison. Can I go back into the prison is the question. How to escape battles, yada yada. There's more chests here. As I mentioned earlier, I do probably want to pick up everything that we see, because we are very poor right now. Oh, the king is back in his place. He just doesn't need anything. Yeah, if you recall, we were retreating through here, so that makes me curious. Is the other guy still here at all? Hmm, he might not be. Remember, we tricked this stupid beastman into the cell. And then he goes, like, curses or something. Ah, oh, so he's not here anymore. So where was the switch? Hmm. I'm not sure. We have to have been able to get in there, but I didn't see any prompts. Do you know what I mean? Oh, did I miss it because it was right here? Oh, that sucks. I didn't see it. Damn. So yeah, we missed out on talking to that merchant. Oh well. Got a couple wishes though. So I think we'll just leave then. So I guess if we play through again, at least I know the switch is right there. I for some reason didn't see it when we were exiting before. Oh well, so we missed whatever he'll give. Presumably a ability of some sort. I'm not sure how relevant it is to our playthrough. If it's anything magic related, I don't think it impacts us at all, because we don't have any spellcasters currently. Nor do I think we will ever get one. Um... Hmm... Did I really bounce off of that? Seriously? Rubber, please. So I'm mostly just looking for item seeds. And he's okay. Oh, you can't jump up there. Uh, we'll do one quick look to see if I see a treasure chest. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. That's kind of high up there. Hmm. Another candy's fine. I don't see a chest there. I don't see a chest up there. I don't see one hidden down there. I do see a pot, though. We'll pick that up on the way back. So yeah, not super seeing where this other chest was. Oh well. Not gonna worry about it if I don't see it. I'll be happy with the fact that we managed to get more items in general. 
good enough. So yeah, now we're gonna retreat back to the forest path that we had before. There was like a demon statue. Speaking of which, I need to make sure we set the minor mallet for later. Oh, you can't set it to the ring menu. Really? All of us, so all the enemies have upgraded. Oh, I got tagged. Oh well. Let's get a little bit of money in XP. I like how little XP they give, by the way. Like, one of those fights was just like, you need 10 more fights to level. Like, no thanks. Oh, we missed, we missed all the treasure, apparently. Must be down the other path we can't reach yet. We should work together to defeat this threat. Yeah, good luck with that AI. I have no interest. <laughs> right, chat? Nah, that, that's a you problem, AI. No wish you'd never cross paths with us. Retreat. We have to go down and then over the bridge. Yeah, this game does have a pretty serious backtracking problem. Like, we're already back here twice. And I know we're going to backtrack to basically every area once we hit the halfway point in the game. Which is a bit unfortunate. So we're just going to use the mallet automatically? Look at him run, chat. Like how the enemies are level 14. I'm like, yeah, no thanks. Let's go investigate the statue that we can do anything with before. Path appeared in the trees. Ah, uh, really make us tiny? Awkward cutscene. Thank you, game. Love the awkwardness of it. Dora Poker Woods. I love how we try to blend in like we're like one of them and we have like the most outrageous outfits compared to everybody wearing the same clothes. Like our characters are quite stupid to believe we wouldn't be spotted immediately. Let's be real, Chad. Something about you smell human. Uh, oh, oh, must be the human I hitched a ride on. Got some stink on me. Uh huh. It is hard to avoid those simple, stinky humans. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you know where we can find Dom Perry, the sage? about you look for the fellow yourself? Well, yeah, villagers about Don Perry, I think. Careful you don't reveal that you're actually big folk. All right, so saying something strange is going on in the forest. So basically, we're just going to investigate all the houses to, to be April Fool's pranked into finding out where the sage is. So I'm going to say he's not here, basically. He's usually out taking a walk. Hmm, I wonder who you've seen out and about taking a walk, Chad. It could be anybody. It could be any of the characters that look different than the other characters we've talked to so far. Hmm. Oops. I mean, would they put a little cactus here? I would think not, because otherwise, how would he shrink? 
Still gonna look for chests and such, though. We blend right in, you're right. I love that we still also dwarf them in size, even though we shrunk. It'd be a very little cactus, something like that. Jean-Pierre? No idea, but he's not here. Missing quite a few treasure chests, unfortunate. I like the pine cones, that's a nice touch. Fine, Don Paris. Is, is it literally gonna show us where he is? Wow, that's funny. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize we could walk back here. Oops, I should have been checking back here. According to the map, we could go quite far away from things. Except over there, that, that's out of bounds. Far is too big, chat. Only a candy, not really worth it. Hmm. Oh, we can actually jump on these. Uh, is there any platforming I should be doing in order to reach chests? Hmm. <laughs> right, chat? Oh. I guess we'll advance the plot slightly. We'll do one last look around the town. Hey! Dom Perry isn't here! Of course he is! I am he! What? But... I asked if you knew where he was. When you asked, I was taking a turn around the village. I did not know where I would be at any one moment. <laughs> Uh, such an annoying old man. Wow, that's, uh, deep? What? Do you doubt me, youngin? We came for advice, Don Perry. There's a rumor that mice invaded a Coral Poker homestead near, near the Kingdom of Laurent. We figured... Other Koro Pokers might know how to help them get their village back. Any ideas? Oh, <gasps> my! That is dreadful! <laughs> uh, Laurent, you say? Oh, I have an idea. First, you must locate the wind elemental, Sylphid. Hmm. The wind statue blocks the way. Even if we want to find Sylphid. Ah, is that so? Wind is an ever-changing element. But as the world's mana power ebbs, there may be those who have found a way to twist Sylphid's powers for ill. What? The wind is restless. Something may have befallen the statue. Regardless, listen well to what I have to say. From one of the mountain paths in Laurent is the entrance to Gust Hall, a dangerous wind labyrinth. You can traverse the hall by changing the directions of the wind statues to create a path. The rest is up to you. Pro big and punt him, definitely. The windstone can be found deep within. <laughs> there, you may also find Sylphid. Sylphid can spread the sleep spores from the Somnosa Meadow throughout Citadel Laurent to incapacitate the Navarral agents. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he giving us like a Joker laugh? What the heck? You, you knew we weren't Cora Poker. <laughs> it was 
as obvious. If you were Korapoka, you would have known that this is the only settlement of our kind in the whole world. Besides, I can tell that you have a fairy within you. We, Korapoka, can see that you are her chosen one with a single glance. I am not fond of humans myself, but I know that if Fairy is here, the world is in dire peril. We cannot turn a blind eye. Pardon my teasing from earlier. <laughs> I just cannot help myself. <laughs> oh, there is no greater joy. And we kill him. <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> You're used... <laughs> Your usefulness has been sir has been fulfilled, old man. Oh, awkward. Pause midwalk. Thank you, game. Oh, you know what? I wonder if in the houses, is there something up here? No. I mean, it's possible the chests are in the houses. Let, let me check each of the houses once, then we'll proceed forward. Because I didn't think about jumping on the mushrooms. Because see how we can kind of do that kind of stuff. I wonder if one of the houses had something we could do. See how there's like kind of a verticality to it? And I guess I could just walk up here normally. Ah. Uh... Oh, fairy walnut's actually a good pickup. That's like 500 in cash we just saved. That's a more expensive item. Uh. That looks somewhat promising. Or maybe not. How do I... Maybe I can't? Yeah, maybe it's just... Yeah, never mind. I don't think there's anything I could jump to that would make that... Like, even if I stood here and attacked, I don't think I would make it. Unless it's just this, like some ultra crazy jump puzzle, because I can't climb the ladder. So that'd make it easy. Unless I could jump from here, and this is enough height. The game does not like you changing momentum. Yeah, okay, it doesn't feel like I'm supposed to land there. Try one more time, though. Like, your momentum is kind of like... Oh, okay, I can land here. But I don't think I can land... Oh, I can land here. Oh my gosh, the random bonking on things. Okay, if there's something here, we'll let the game have it. As I said before, you kind of, like, rubber band off the of stuff for no reason. Which is really awkward. It's like, if you attack, you just kind of keep sliding, and sometimes you'll go backwards. Um... Okay, I'm gonna guess by how annoying this is, I'm not meant to jump on this. Yeah, okay, I'm not meant to jump on this. I'll check one last house and then we'll leave. The walnut, I think, was a good pickup. Oh, I can see the chest from the entrance. Yeah, okay. That's not too bad then. Silver item seed? Huh. I'm guessing it gives better quality items. I guess we could revisit the other town to see if they changed anything, like if there's new NPCs there, or if new events happen. And then we'll proceed further. A good lead. Are you ready to retake Laurent? We cannot delay. Let oh. us be off to Gustal. I appreciate all of your help from the bottom of my heart. There is a little cactus here. Because if you remember, chat, we didn't come here until after we learned about Little Cactus, so maybe Little Cactus is in more places. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> chat. Yeah, okay. We should definitely revisit the town then. 
nothing has changed here, so we'll move forward for now. So yeah, we'll check out, like, where the beaches are, we'll check out the town. We'll laugh as our allies get killed. Oh, I almost interrupted the attack. Man, they're actually quite tanky. Okay. Not the oh, there is a chest there. So I missed this before. The wishes. It's nice to find additional items, at least. There's some reason to explore. I think we need to save yet. Let us work together to defeat the enemy. So yeah, let's try going back to the town and seeing what happens. It's possible there's new NPCs, because it is a remake. Or little cactus could be here somewhere. Ah, so there are NPCs to talk to, but it's just our allies. In the meantime, I'm gonna look for little cactus. Oh, right there. There we go. It's a good thing we, we did a little detour chat, so this might be worth it in the long run. We got two additional sightings. Two more for a prize. This is just slaughter, pure and simple. They go this far, makes me sick. This is what war brings to the people. Cannot let this carnage spread. Wait, who's the other NPC that's here? Oh, is it the dog? Uru, Uru, it doesn't seem to want to leave. The thought of the dog has granted you a new ability? <laughs> Excuse me? 50% chance of canceling stat decrease. Okay, we've been inspired by dog apparently, chat. Well, that actually proved to be most fortuitous. I was just gonna talk to them because I thought it was odd that anything was here. So I think that's probably all we could do for now. We seem to have all the treasures on top of that. The power of dog compels you, chat, to level up. So now that we got told about the Gust Hall for like the second time, we can proceed with the Gust Hall. Um... Oh, that's for the holy city. Let's not go that way. Oh, there's an area I never explored. Oops. Let me let me go to that. There should be a beach, if I remember correctly, near Jad. So it's possible that little cactus could be there, but also probably more likely more chests. Look at me dodging these encounters. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, I dodged slightly too slow. More money, that's fun. We might need it for travel, that's why I'm taking a couple battles here and there. Uh, I could probably take this fight. A little bit of bonus money, a little bit of healing. I could probably build two supers for later. Yeah, I never went over here, so I'm assuming there's... Oh, I can actually see the little cactus from here. I was gonna say, I'm assuming there's some treasure here that we missed earlier. So now we just need one more sighting. We get potentially double XP. So that's nice. I wish we could see, like, where we've seen him before. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, it would have been easier to track it. Oh, we can see what his rewards are. How many did to escape from battle halved? Oh, we need that immediately. Yeah, we need... We, like, no, like, no joke. Actually, that would save so much time. Huh. All right, well, I don't see anything else to do. We got more of the treasure chest, so I can be satisfied enough that we made progress here. How much money do we have? 420? Uh, that should be enough for a trip. Gotta get this nuisance out of the way. No time for this! <laughs> right, chat, I'm just like, bye. Okay, that makes encounters less annoying, which is good. I'm being rewarded for taking my time and exploring. So the game is going to charge me money again because it's rude. Oh, there's a chest. Only costs 210 this time, which is good. Couple wishes, nice. We have so many revive items. The game wants to make sure that I don't die due to AI faults, apparently. I guess if you have 26 plus revives, you can beat the game. My intent is to not use them, though, if I can avoid them. Okay, so I could skip the fast travel, which again, kind of doesn't teach me what the world map is like. Unless they got rid of the ability to just explore the overworld and they just make it a flat map. I really hope they don't do that, but I guess they could do it. So now we're right back where we were earlier. Cat, I don't think it's anything to say. It just thought that's us. So we'll see if Gust Hall has one more cactus as we explore. Could be near the boss, could be near the beginning. And then before that, we'll do a small detour to Navarro Fortress. We should be good. Yeah, sadly, we are not really taking advantage of the day-night cycle very much, and or we're not taking advantage of the element of the day. I don't even remember what the game told me the element of the day was. So technically, if we fight, like, the wind monster, for example, during uh, Sylphid Day, that would be very bad for us. Because that would be a big stat buff to the boss. No time. At least when it comes to damage. Trying to cut the corner. Alright, so we should have a choice of going straight up, which I don't want to do. Let's take the chest that's over here. Another chocolate, don't really need it. I think we went in that cave earlier. I guess that's where we saw the overhang. Trying to avoid going to the gust area. The game was trying to start a battle with me, and I was not having it. Just a gold item over here. Guess I could go for it. Candy acquired. Wow, I'm not e our party's not even injured, and I took combat. That doesn't seem right. Right, chat? That, that feels wrong. Another couple of wishes. Hmm. Is there a point to coming over here? Is there a cactus? Is there a treasure chest? What's the point of this area? Just to fight more enemies? Well... That was disappointing. I don't even see a shiny. Yeah, and I don't see the cactus if it's there. Disappointing. So this should lead us to Navarro. Love how the game is telling me how to escape. I'm like, don't worry. Are we getting a 
appreciate cutscene for coming here. Okay, so we can't go this way. Can't go to Laurent. Oh, I think I said the thieves area earlier. I meant Laurent. Okay, so there's nothing I could do near Laurent, it seems. Just fine. So let's go back. We'll hopefully get a little cactus that will randomly double XP and save us time later. So I don't plan on doing many combats. Watch out for the enemy. Catch me. So far, our HP is looking fine. Once the enemies start getting towards 18, we might fight them a little more. Right now, they just don't feel worth it for me to fight. Like, both from the standpoint, the money isn't there, and I feel like the time it takes to kill some of them is a bit much. How to grow seeds! You could do it, chat! I wonder if they reworked the wind so that we, we have like jumping puzzles now versus just you can't walk this way puzzles. Uh, that's a lot of... Well, I found little cactus chat. I was more looking for items, but we'll take this. Okay. Alright, since she committed resources, I might as well try to finish the battle. Also, I hit the wrong button to dodge there. That was my bad. Ooh, they don't seem to really suffer hit stun. I gotta remember that. So I could get away with like a 1-2 strike, maybe? Unless I knock them down, I could take some big damage. Like that time it was worth comboing because he wasn't targeting me. But I gotta be careful there. 300 XP. So they're already almost double the XP of what we had earlier, which is interesting. Speaking of which, what I want to make sure that we do... Actually, let me set it up so that way we have... I don't need Luminous. I mostly just need... Brick Scale over Lumina. We'll save Lumina for the Ghost Ship. Let's see. Do that, and then we need Earth, I think, to defeat the Wind Monster. I could just use an Earth Coin to see if it's worth doing. We already have Mole Bear Claw equipped. Okay, so that's basically all I wanted to do. And then I can't make it day or night on demand. I don't think I care about Ton Oil right now. Let's try this setup. See how we feel about it. Is that way I have access to all my own buffs? I could get rid of the Curious Cookie, I guess, because I don't really plan on using that. And get rid of Curious Cookie and replace it with a Cure of Statuses. Might be a smarter choice for me. Okay, got some money. There's a chest I can't quite reach. Wind statue? Oh no! Someone might be after something like Don Perry feared! Uh, hurry! Ah, uh, yes, chat. Watch me hurry. <laughs> Take my time. <laughs> Literally go every possible wrong way first. This one feels like it could break me in half. Have to figure out this wind to move forward. Uh... Wait, no, I don't. I just walk by it. Wait, did they nerf the wind puzzle? Do I not even have to care about it anymore? Oh, there's a little statue up there. That's interesting. 
That's sad that they nerfed that. I'd really prefer not to fight any of these things. Another chest. Okay, these are stronger. Okay. I was gonna say, I was like, how else is it gonna make me do anything here? Oh, I was curious if I could get by this without turning the statue. I can almost get by it. Almost? Oh, take that statue! I don't play by your rules. <laughs> right, Jack, get out of here. Don't tell me I can't go here. There we go. There we go. Now I did something that wasn't intended by the game. So weak. Could have won alone. <laughs> right, chat? Nice try. Hmm. My turn. Get you prepared. Wait, there's another enemy so oh I didn't pull the RP. No more enemies. Not until next time. Hmm. I could flip the switch, but I don't have a reason to yet. Could I brute force past this? Well, not if I'm in battle. Oh. I wasn't expecting him to twirly bird towards me. He got me. He went way outside of the target area, I would just like to state. There we go. That was the last of them. Get too comfortable though. Yeah, I don't get why they're not flapping their wings for sure. That was bothering me. I'm just curious, can I get this without hitting the switch? Can I like jump over it? No. Like I can make a little bit of progress with the with the tumbles, but not enough in a way that would make a difference. Fine game, I'll go hit your little switch. You happy? Yeah, I don't know why they're not flapping their wings. It's definitely a big downgrade. Something we'll probably talk about in the review. I can almost get by that one as well. I love the camera freaking out. Hmm. So I could reach this pot if I want to. Um... Is there a reason to go this way? It doesn't seem like it. There's a switch there. I think the game wants me to hit the switch to progress, which is fair. Fight over. Oh, we got double XP. That's actually huge. Double XP kicking in, paying off. Nice. That saves me needing to heal people. <gasps> the day-night cycle stopping me from rolling. Thank you, game. It's apparently dry at day. So five more levels and we'll get the ability to class up. But sadly, we can only do it if we're near one of these places. So is there anything worth pumping? Might just hold on to our main stats for him for now. I think luck and strength is probably good. Oh yeah, I just realized something. There's no decks in this game. Oh right. I can't believe I didn't notice that until literally just this moment. I was talking about that earlier. Didn't even occur to me. So I'm guessing because they got rid of decks that luck is now the main stat of the thief. Which to be fair, decks was literally useless in the other game. I guess if you're going for a more action based game, hit percentage doesn't really make sense. And I don't think there's anything I can do here unless I really need intelligence for something. But given how dumb our characters are, I feel like it's wrong to do. Welcome, Chris Agrim. Hopefully you're doing well, having a good time. Not sure what you were playing.
new path has appeared. Oh, this just unlocks a shortcut. Okay. Uh, you know what? I like those small updates to the game to allow you to get faster backtracking. Watch out for the enemy. Yeah, I was like, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess it doesn't really matter. But that also, I guess, guess means we don't have, like, dodge percentage either, which is a bit concerning. So we can see a path that we need to come back to eventually. So if we end up taking a cave entrance there, we should be good. So we can't take the shortcut back. Which does mean that if we have to come back here for a class upgrade, it's a lot less annoying now, which is always nice. Look at that chat, another little cactus. Oh my gosh, four more chat. Then I can escape all the battles that I ever want. Anyway, we should probably disable this. There are so many little cactus. I don't know why he's everywhere. I don't know if that was intended, but we got it. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm never really sure with, like, the 3D platformers. Like, when you do, like, I'm, I thought you were supposed to maybe move the wind out of the way, but perhaps not. I think this might be a forced fight here. Oh, I don't have enough for a blast. Okay. Okay, leave it to me. What a waste of time. I don't think so. I'm basically trying to do this to stun him. So that way we don't take damage. Maybe I'll build meter here. He seems really good at building meter. So that might be good for us later on. To use our class strikes. On it! Allow me. Okay, leave it on it. Allow me. On it. I want to go back to on it, actually. I thought about it. I changed my mind. Okay, we don't need to fight any of those. So let's not. That is a lot of different paths to take. Do I even need to change it, though? Oh, you won't let me jump in between. I was going to say, I'm like, this doesn't really look like a puzzle. Don't I just jump across and it just wave your finger? Miss the point, little cactus is my stalker. Maybe. I'm really curious if I could get by this without doing the puzzle. It feels like I should be able to. Let me do something like this. I just want to cheat it a little bit, chat. Not quite. We're like one tumble away from getting through. Yeah, can't do it. Fine, I'll do your little puzzle thing. I know. It, it, it just seems like this would be very easily solved by just moving differently. Do you know what I mean, chat? Oh. So we'll go this way. Hmm. So take a look at the map. I think over here is a shortcut. I got armor for somebody? Question mark? I mean, chat knows. I, I am not upgrading. <laughs> I mean, if the game wants to give me stuff that I'm never going to purchase, sure. Right, Chad? You know I'm not touching armor in this game. I mean, if it gives it to me, I'll wear it, but no thanks. All right, well, let's... Fine, I'll hit this last thing and we should be able to progress. There we go. Puzzle solved. So let's open up a shortcut so I never have to do that again. New path has appeared, chat. Uh... I'm gonna let the game keep whatever that gold thing is. So we're probably about four levels under level. Let's see how hard this fight is. <laughs> right, chat? We've been avoiding pretty much all combat. But, you know, that's situation normal for us. Yeah, we're three levels under at the moment, and we know there's another area to go to. What's that? It's a mana stone. This is the first one I've ever seen in person, too. Huh. If the Benevadon sealed within were freed, the whole world would be in such danger. 
<laughs> sure would be bad if that happened, Don't chat. Say that. Oh, I'm sorry. We're doing what we can to stop it, after all. Come on! Sylphid must be nearby. Wait one moment. I think these are fresh footprints. They appear to be headed this direction. Let us check them out. He's about to sound around the world to switch to a different class. Each time you change another class, the character will become stronger. What happens if I use it now? Who is switching classes? Try to switch your class. You can reset your class. Ooh, I don't think that was the thing Looks in the original. Like you need more experience before you can switch classes. Cheer up. We can try again later. <laughs> Shut up, fairy. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll get our experience eventually. Once the necessary qualifications are met, you can use the medicine to switch classes. Okay, so at least I get to see what each class is like. I, I mean, that's an improvement over the original, I guess. Uh... I guess we're ready for a boss fight. Wasn't there a lot more to this place? So we're not even fighting the harpy yet. I, there has to be, because we didn't fight the harpy yet. Let Silphid go! You must have destroyed the wind statue too! I like how this character also will not be relevant to our plot. We interact so little with our character's plot, it's kind of funny in the beginning. Oh, there we go. Maybe they did shorten the dungeon. Because I thought we had to go in like a lot of U-turns and stuff. We only had to go through like one set of puzzles. That was pretty quick. Yeah. Oops. Uh... Can you earth up yourself? Did that guy do this? We had to hurry and save Sophie. Oh, it even designates the weakness? Oh, it just straight up tells you in this game? Okay. Coming, Hang in. All right, well, I should have everything I need already applied here. There. here. I'm gonna get hit. That is really unfortunate. I got caught in the animation. That felt kind of... Oh, it did a killer instantly. Well, that really sucks. Okay, boss damage is like out of control compared to the original. Why did I take like literally one, one shot kill damage on normal mode? Well, that was a waste of a buff. Well, I'm gonna buff myself, I guess. And I think it interrupted my strength up, so I don't think I actually applied what I needed there. Yeah, I missed having the elemental applied to me because it, it interrupted it. Wow, that really sucks. Okay, so they they kind of hard nerfed items in this game because they used to be instant cast. So that is really unfortunate. The only one that can do extra damage is Hawk. Yeah, that kind of blows. Unpartially intended. I was trying to play it smart, but I mean, if I just get one shot randomly and they can interrupt items, kind of lame. Oh, she ascended right as I was targeting it. Can he even hit her when she's like that? 
kind of. Oh, and the buffs wear off over time. Why are they going in? Why why are they going in? Hello? Are you guys being like stupid on purpose? I I don't know about this chat. Like that kind of stuff bothers me. Really? They had like the world's longest wind up to the attack and they just face tanked it. Okay, so buffs got super nerfed. They don't even last the whole battle now. Man, I Hmm. I don't appreciate that, that's for sure. I might have been able to interrupt them. How did he die? She wasn't even targeting him. What? What is go what am I what is going on? How are they dying? I think they were trying to stop the attack rather than just dodging. Okay. Yeah, that really sucks because I don't have my buffs on at all. So I guess going forward, I'm not gonna bother buffing our allies. It's just a waste of time. That's really disappointing to me, chat. I just want you to know this. That is really disappointing to me, how bad the buffs are in this game. Can you please dodge? Like, I'm actively getting injured because I'm healing them. This is so stupid. Yeah. Now I should be able to interrupt it. Seriously. Oh, I whiffed. I don't know, chat. That right there has me really concerned about the end game. If they just literally get one shot like that. Like, I know I'm under level, but why am I- why am I taking, like, 300-something damage? Like, uh, like, let's- let's say in theory I put on the armor. Does the armor in this game scale, like, exponentially? Like, how would I avoid taking 300-something potential damage in some of these scenarios? What madness. Night. Who was that? I don't know. One moment he was looking at the mana stone, and the next he was after me. He drained my energy and summoned Hersephone. Was he after the mana stone? Planning to use it? Selfid, we need your help. I see. Well, you all saved my life. I'll stick with you until the bitter end. Okay, we attained Sylphid. I like how it's telling me all these things. I literally can't get them. <laughs> just, I'm just like shrugging. I'm just like, I'm pretty sure I can't get any of these. I mean, thanks though, I guess. Because I can switch categories. I don't see anything new here. We can reclaim my home from those invaders. Thank you all so much for your aid. As Dom Perry suggested, we must utilize the Somnosas in the meadow. On it! 
So, like, even with these level ups, that still would have been, like, 85 to 90% of my health. I don't know, chat. That really rubs me the wrong way. What I feel like the damage is, like, really overtuned for boss battles. Like, they did a lot of damage to us before in SNES, but, like, this is insane. Like, how much more damage everything does. And that's what I'm really worried about. Like, what if I get into, like, a really grindy battle? And they just constantly one-shot our teammates. Because I'm just playing on normal. This is the kind of stuff I didn't want to have to deal with. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, most of the normal enemies are, like, literally 0% threatening. Which was kind of the inverse of how it was in SNES. Where I was more worried about reaching the boss than actually fighting the boss. You know, with your ninja spam and all that other BS. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm still kind of in shock at how much damage I was taking there where it basically made me waste a whole bunch of Cup of Wishes because I think even in the original when we did this I didn't come anywhere close to dying on this boss like yeah it was a little annoying but it wasn't like I burned like seven Cup of Wishes annoying it was like I did an AoE heal. No, I didn't even have AoE heal then. I think I just did like six or seven normal lower ranking healing items. It's like mostly candies, not even like chocolates. I don't know. I don't need to go back here. Oh yeah, Calvishim. I can say without a doubt I will not enjoy the higher difficulties, nor do I ever want to try them. I would say if the game had companions that didn't die instantly, I would be more interested. But that problem is just going to be exacerbated the longer I play, especially on higher difficulties. And it's going to force potentially a grind to be the right level, which I'm not interested in. Okay, so we'll use the wind magic here. I will no longer bother with buff items, I think, for the rest of the game. Unless it's on the protagonist. I was very thoroughly unimpressed with how badly they were nerfed. And let me be very clear. They were not good in the, in the SNES version. They lasted a battle. And if there were multiple battles in a room, it didn't carry over. So, like, they were already, like, super bad. Like, they were okay for boss fights specifically and bad in every other situation. Now, I'm like... I don't know. I don't know. You made it. Did you have a chance to speak with Dom Perry? Yep. Look. Hello, nice to see you. Oh. Leave this to me. Now is our chance. Please, be careful. There may be enemies in the Citadel that did not succumb to the Sith Force. Help yourself with the supplies in the barrels. There are candies and cups of wishes. Hostile insurgents will no longer be tolerated in Citadel Laurent. My father will not have died in vain. I will take back this kingdom! I'm on your side, Reese. I won't let my fellow thieves be manipulated like this. Well, time to go in, I guess. Leave this to me, perishes. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, everybody that I'm not controlling is basically gonna die in one hit. I think I got hit by the boss at most twice. 
Meanwhile, they got hit like 12 to 14 times. I don't know. I think too, the ability to like not cancel death in this game is also kind of a problem, which has me a bit more concerned. Since that was a big strategy of getting through the SNES game where whenever somebody hit zero, we could cancel their death with a healing item. They just seem to explode instantly here. Uh, I'll save. Which is like probably for the best that it's like that, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I, I'm definitely very worried about the end game. Like to be a, it, to be that kind of shook me a little bit. I'm not thrilled with the boss damage. Yeah. I mean, chat. What do you think from the damage perspective we're seeing? Like the only character that got like a real defense. Well, actually, I said that before, and I do have accessories on them at least. So they're using like one step down in armor. But even when I got hit, I was taking like half my health on a single boss attack. I don't know. We'll go this way for now. Yeah, like what happens if like what happens if I were to take the other girl's path and I had to have fought the cat lady? Like, does she just kill you instantly? Like, that fight was already atrocious. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see how hard this fight ends up being. Yeah, remember remember the grind of those last bosses as Reese? I was not thrilled with that in the SNES. That made me go from being okay with the game to like really hating the game, and I'm worried I'm gonna feel that way again with this game. If I feel that way at the end bosses, I'm not doing another playthrough. I'm gonna be very clear. If I have to sit through another watch the screen fill with AoEs, teehee, watch your allies die, I'm not playing again. I'm gonna build some meter on them. And we should hopefully have enough for a boss. Alright. So I built up my gauge a little more. We doubled XP. Which, even with doubled XP, we still need a lot to level. Kind of crazy. Go this way. Oh, well that's... That's just rude. That is what we like to call rude. I was not expecting that much damage. Well, I'm glad the ninjas are still terrible. I didn't really see a prompt for their damage line, so I wasn't sure what they were doing at first. But at least now I know, I guess. Please dodge. Thank you. That chest was not worth it in the slightest. Holy. That was not worth it in the slightest. Let's move on. I think I at least have an okay amount of meter for a boss fight. Okay, I'm expecting to get ambushed as soon as I... As soon as I step forward to go take the gold shiny, is what I was about to say. Day-night cycle, please. Okay, dodge that encounter. Yeah, I guess, I guess in general I'm not a big fan of a game where you have to constantly dodge roll to get out of the way. It's reminding me of PSO2 in a bad way, because I was not a fan of how, like, insta-kill everything started to become after a while, and I feel like we're getting there already. We're very early in the game for this to be occurring. That's That kind of damage is what I expect, like, a bonus boss to be, or like, an, maybe an endgame enemy if I'm not properly leveled. Not like some literal random harpy. Anyway, let's try to ignore that for now and go through the dungeon itself. Uh, I'll take this encounter. Wow. 
Why are they not helping me? Why was no one attacking? What was that? Thanks, game. Well, I took damage because they all decided to just stare instead of help. Thanks, game. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I do feel like the AI is actively against me, even in the normal encounters. Like, they were not great in the SNES version, but, like, if there's only one enemy left, they at least were smart enough to go fight that enemy. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, I, I'm putting a real low bar because I'm comparing it against the SNES version, and they're still really messing up pretty badly in this version compared to the other one. Please don't hit me while I'm trying to escape. Go this way. It's making the game a lot more hard than it should be for just, like, casual clears. Okay, let's ignore them. Unfortunate that it got hit there. Mostly just... There we go. Oh, I didn't dodge. Okay. It's a bit, little bit of meter. Artisan acquired. Okay, so that's a new weapon for Reese, at least. So that's potentially a big damage increase for us. Because we're not using the best weapon we could get at the shop, except for Kevin. So I think that was a worthy detour for us. I kind of don't want to fight this encounter, though. Uh, should be good here. Actually, speaking of which... I'll, ch I'll check later after combat. I want to see if I can assign the self buff to the stuff on the right. That attack loops leaves me so open. Yeah, that should be two of them dead. We should continue on our journey as planned. So how did I how did I set buttons to this? Okay. Oh, it's per character. Oh. I didn't realize that's how that worked. How did I So we have the main ring. How did I set the other menu? I don't remember. Question mark. These are automatic. I know I assigned them at some point. What did they call it? Was it like quick ring? Hmm. I don't remember, Chad. It told me in the beginning of the game, but we did take a break. Does Chad remember how this is done? I want to set something here. Because I would like for these characters to have uh, candies or whatever available to them. Unless... Uh, oh, I have to do it while I'm in the ring menu. Oh, never mind. Okay. So then I gotta do... This... Okay. Okay. Leave it to me. On it. So I had him set up. Oh, I had chocolate at the top. I don't know if that matters. Okay. So for each of these characters, I have to set their menu separately. Okay. So I'm gonna do this then. Just because, like, I would like for them to very quickly potentially buff and do whatever they need. So that means for you, I need this to be the self buff. All right, that should be good. Okay. I figured it out eventually. I like to use the healing statue. My CS is good except for on Kevin. 
Which is a shame because he has a lot of damage. Three Poseidon Claws. I feel like the game is trying to tell me to use these. So let's get rid of Mole Bear. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I'm assuming that's what it wants. Uh, we can also do other elements here just so we can check weakness. I have one Demon Claw to imbue with Dark. We get rid of Dream Read for now. I don't really need Magic Rope either, to be honest. So yeah, like, unless the game really expects me in order to survive, like, burn a bunch of oil to reduce damage by half. Which again, is not a strategy I'm going to be doing, because that requires grinding. It's a little silly to me. Let's see how hard these are. I think it's Bill and Ben, which I think is a difficulty spike. Oh no, it's the door. The door is first. Grumpy door chat. I wish I could see what his weakness is. I'm gonna assume it's water. Uh oh. Go ahead and heal. Almost one shot her again. I will. Allow me. imbue with water ourselves again. Oh, I got tagged randomly. Oh, come on. Please let me buy. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on. What is this? Well, I just wasted like all of my time in buff form. That really sucks. And she died. Man, the holding still when using items is actually really bothering me. Again, this is making this a lot harder than this should be. Okay, can I finally hit this boss? Nice. Can I apply strength up? Our allies are just getting wrecked. Oh, 
Not what I want. Man, I just gotta like babysit them so much. And she died, even though I just even though I just told her to heal. This is what I'm talking about. The delay in the heal is really bothering me. Because it's gonna get my party killed waiting for them. Oh, I'm so dead, by the way, because there's a healing on him. Oh, I dodged. Never mind. Miracle that I dodged. So it seems like the elemental weakness does not last for very long. Strength up does last a little longer, at least. Oh my gosh, this is just relentless. Can you all please stop dying? Am I gonna run out a couple wishes? Jesus, chat. We're not even at like the hard fight yet. Please don't kill my main character. What is happening? I'm getting tagged by stuff that I can't see because it's behind me. This feels kind of unfair. So yeah, this fight is definitely a difficulty increase over the original by a lot. But all I can do is just keep attacking. I think the game assumed I had a class change or something, because this is like a ludicrous difficulty increase over what we just fought. Uh, please stop dying. I'm gonna do this to avoid getting repelled. And I got pushed anyway, that sucks. Oh, please don't kill me. I'm on my last revive. Man. Oh, just what? oh my gosh, these moves are so unsafe. This is, uh, I just want to attack and I keep getting locked in animations like this. Game, please. Of course, I'm probably dead. I think this is GG. I, I don't think I could do enough damage to finish this fight. I'm literally just getting bullied constantly. And I just got shrunk. And I just got hit. Wow. And the lack of the minor mallet also makes this fight harder than it should be. Because it wouldn't let me assign the midge mallet, which is normally what I did to counter this boss when we first fought it. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to solo this boss, I guess. Hope I eventually get cured of something so I could do deal with this. Here. 
No, I was mashing that to come on. I was mashing that so hard to activate, Chad. You have no idea. Oh my gosh. Please get up. No, 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 no. Am I out of healing because our allies burned all of our healing? Of course they did. I think I gotta dodge that or I die. Oh my gosh. Why is that such a big difficulty spike? Oh. Wow, I think we can all agree, chat. That was ludicrous. That was not enjoyable to me at all. Oh my gosh, is the rest of the game gonna be like this? I went from having a good time to I had a bad time real fast. That is just too much, chat. Like, I don't mind the enemies being more aggressive, but that was literally just attacks everywhere, constantly, at different timings. I mean, how many items did that burn? Do I even have enough to do this? Okay, I still have 18 cups of wishes. I could increase my HP by five just to beat it. Uh, do I take any of these? Yeah, I didn't have any way to deal with the Calvishim. I ran out of the Poseidon, unless I... Because I, I came in with six, as a reminder, I used five on that encounter. Yeah, it just, like, that felt really shitty. Yeah, like, it gave me three, I used five. So it's not like I didn't try to stop it from doing its nonsense. And the game told me that, but it's like... I don't know where it thought my damage was that I would kill it that quickly, but I did not enjoy that at all. So I'll save, but I think after this I'm taking a break, chat. I'm gonna be real with you. That put me in a bad mood. Because we're not even at, like, the hard... I, we're not at what is normally the hard fight, which is cons very concerning to me. Because we haven't fought the ninjas, for example. We still have to deal with them. Is it worth... You know what? I think it's worth going back and leveling once. I, I don't usually like to do this, but... If our allies get one shot again, like, I'm gonna get really frustrated. I'm gonna do one encounter. Oh. Are all the encounters gone now? Seriously? Seriously. <sighs> Annoying. Well, I guess I'm not leveling again. Yeah, big wow on that one, chat. Would have been nice. Uh, I don't know what time of day it is. I would like to make sure that it's night. Lumina time. Still for day. Okay. So if I check that, I can see what time of day it is. I would like to dream read so I don't have to deal with this BS. Alright, I would like to be in werewolf form so I have a chance against this boss. Bill! Ben! It's me, Hawkeye! Don't you recognize me? Please, you have to snap out of it! Who knows? Who cares? Come on, Ben. Gotcha, Bill! Secret, Secret attack! Fuse! Oh, I attack past him. 
That's unfortunate. That really sucked. I was just trying to activate her super strike to avoid that, actually. Completing this game is definitely going to be a challenge, but the oh, I'm so dead. Well, actually didn't one-shot me at least. Yeah, I think with the nerf to healing items, it's definitely making the game a lot harder than if I had done this the SNES route, I think. Seriously? Alright, I think what I need to do... Maybe I need to tell them to auto heal. I don't know. That was my fault. I should have dodged that. At least I can dodge like most of his attacks. So the problem is like, see, they're just taking the shots over and over and over again. And it's causing me to get hit when I go to heal them, which is very frustrating. Yeah, I think I just stunned them. So at least like we're doing some damage to them. I might have done that too slow. Uh, that kind of worked. Oh, I got clipped. I didn't even think they hit me. Oh, that definitely hit me though. Okay, so there is like a lock-on feature if I need to use it. I didn't really need it prior to now, but I think with them dashing everywhere, I think I do actually need it. Please heal yourself. Please heal, your Please heal yourself. There we go. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I like the lock on that much. I'm gonna take it off and do mandal dodges. So at least I'm building some meter. I really need our allies to stop dying. They've literally burned through like almost 20 of our Cups of Wishes. I've died maybe legit once. Maybe twice. But they've died literally over 20 between the two of them. It is so bad. Speaking of bad, please don't die. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, no, I dodged. <laughs> I realized I got locked in place at the worst time. I'm gonna dodge this. I'm trying to interrupt them, but it seems like not a lot of their attacks have the interrupt. Just a activate. <laughs> why, why did you delay me? There we go. Okay, I think I got one of them big time there. Oh, 
Oh, I tacked into that. That was my fault. Uh, now that there's only one, I think this is fun. So this fight was actually easier than the other fight. Mostly because there's just less attacks to deal with. Cool. That still instantly kills an ally, though. They do not know how to dodge that at all. Did they just revive the partner? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Seriously, I gotta kill them both around the same time? <sighs> wow. Introducing gimmicks that didn't exist in the original in not a way that makes me happy. are dead. Wow, this is getting very frustrating very quickly. I, I really need them to please attack or do something. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, he dodged. Use candy to heal yourself, please. Oh, am I out of candies? Because they've taken so much damage. Cool. Cool, love it. Please berserk him. I'm not dodging, I'm just going in. Ugh, gross. You'll regret this! Forgive us, Belladonna. So now I can go class up if I want to. I guess I'll go class up later. Discussing. I'm almost out of items. Well. Chan, I'm down to 10 cups of wishes. Keep in mind, I think we were at 30 before. Like, that's how many the allies have been consuming. Again, like, I'm averaging maybe a death of boss fight, which is, like, not great, but it's... I, I'm also not eating 99% of the resources. So, really, really not thrilled with the how the game feels at the moment. Isabella! This is as far as you go. Isabella. Oh, yes. I was called that once, wasn't I? <laughs> I'm surprised to see you still alive. Who are you really? Why would you want to take over Navarre and invade Laurent? <laughs> I am Belladonna, servant of his dark majesty. <laughs> this is revenge for Eagle! <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> How quickly your memory fades. Are you certain you want to kill me? Wait! The Choker of Death. Exactly. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die.
With your help, we managed to take the Citadel. Words cannot express our gratitude. The kingdom is reclaimed, but my father is gone forever. Isabella. Belladonna took over the minds of my friends, Bell and Ben. She's got everyone in Navarro in the palm of her hand. Belladonna. She is the one who stole my father and my kingdom from me. She still has my brother. I will never forgive her. Reese, listen. I know you want revenge, but if you destroy Belladonna now, an innocent girl's life will be in danger. Just give me a bit more time. With the Sword of Mana, I know I can save Jessica. That's why we have to find it. This Jessica, is she? Never mind. I understand the situation. Right now, my fellow countrymen and I need to focus on rebuilding my kingdom. Thank you, Reese. But those guys could come back at any time. You okay? The Citadel defenses were mostly repaired by Navarro after the fire. We can defend ourselves, Your Highness. The Kingdom of Laurent will not be caught off guard again. The sleep spores will no longer work on us either. Hmm. Our next move is to make a search party for Prince Elliot. Your Highness, if you would only stay here at the Citadel and guide your people. <clears throat> I know you are worried about Prince Elliot, Captain. You may leave the Citadel in our care. Please, continue your search. <sighs> we know you are not the type of person to wait idly by in the Citadel while other Amazon guards attempt to retrieve the kidnapped prince from the enemy. Isn't that right? Yeah! Liza... Everyone, thank you. I promise to find Elliot and bring him back, along with the Sword of Mana, so that we may rebuild Laurent together. Until then, I ask for your patience. Safe travels, Captain. Got the Wind Elemental. Let's tell the Hero King in Valsena. Come on! I'm, I'm in shock chat. We need to know. I'm, I'm in silent shock. I'm disappointed. I'm not happy. <laughs> Like, I don't mind them having, like, more complex patterns, but, like, when you mix that with, like, the AI literally dying... Navarlin's still in Palo? Belladonna is gone. So, I assume they're no longer under her spell. That is reassuring. It's not very reassuring, is where I'm going with that sentence. We need not worry about our safety getting to the docks. I'll take point and leave the rear to you. <laughs> They interrupted my charge. Hmm. Like, granted, my damage was maybe not the best on specifically Hawk, but, like, we literally got, like, a on-par weapon upgrade on the protagonist, and Reese ended up with a above-what-we-could-purchase upgrade. And that felt terrible. So yeah, unless defense like scales like like a ridiculous, ridiculous upward trend, I don't see how 
I, I imagine they still probably do several hundred damage. Like, them doing a hundred wasn't the end of the world. Them doing, like, 200-something almost instantly was ridiculous. Alright, let's do this to shortcut back here. Because I do not want to continue without a class upgrade. I think that would be very detrimental to us. How much money do I have, by the way? 7,000. Well, I could go get armor if I really want to. I believe we're coming up to the ghost ship extremely soon. And that area was kind of annoying. But at the same time, a lot of those attacks from that boss were not physical attacks. Maybe they'll mix it up a little in the remake. Like, for me right now, I don't think zombies are anywhere near as threatening as they were in the SNES. So it's kind of the trade-off where, like, most of these enemy types I don't super care about. But the bosses themselves are like, that was a bit much. Anyway, for now, let's select this. Try to switch your class. So I'm assuming it's going to give me a choice here. Monk, balanced warrior, good at healing and fighting. Monks support themselves and their allies during battle. I really don't want to tie him down with healing. I might just do brawler. Attacks increase if allies faints. Oh, <laughs> chat, chat, maybe. <laughs> with how fast they die, actually, maybe. The Brawler gives me more roll stats, though. Less defense. Uh, I'll try Brawler. See how I feel about it. Having... Because I think usually I'm going to be at full or dead. So unless I feel like I have mastery over the game to keep my health at below 50%, I don't think it's going to be relevant most of the time. So we'll try this. So at least unlike in the original, we seem to get new uh, stat increases, because the original did not touch our stats when we leveled. So I now have a triple XY combo. I can have up to three specials, two ability slots added, new moves, abilities available in training, which again, probably would have helped a little bit in that fight. So it seems like the classes have been very much upgraded over the original. Yeah, we're switching classes. If she can debuff, this would actually be huge for us. Try to switch your class. So looking at this, it looks like there's actually a fourth class. Interesting. Yeah, I don't really want to buff. We did that before. Let's go Rune Maiden. Does that decrease effect time shortened by 40%? A righteous spear. And one person engaged when you attack, not bad. This is more physical attack power. I think I want this. Less HP. But I think if we can stat down them, that might be important. Because I think the enemies are going to scale way more than us. And I, I don't see why I would not want to debuff them at this point. Triple XY. I guess I could try their combo briefly before we move forward. So I don't have to commit yet to a class. Allow me. That's like a bit of range. It's okay. Who is switching classes? Let's upgrade Hawkeye. Try to switch your class. Yeah, because look at it this way, chat. If you see, there's... Let's say each row, approximately, is another class tier. It looks like there's something at the very end. So that's interesting. Unless I'm misinterpreting the grid. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Tricky foes. We got the ninja class. What do each of these get? Magic attack increased by 10% when at full health. That ability is literally never going to be valid. Our allies will never, ever take advantage of this. 
And Ranger also gives more damage, because I guess because the ninja is more magic focused. Maybe we just do this for melee? So it can cause status effects, which could be interesting. So 10% chance of keeping item when using an item in battle is actually relevant given how much heal spam we need to do. So if I make Hawkeye use AoE heal, it's possible I could end up with more interesting items. Let's, let's try this actually. Also, I keep forgetting to check what the final page is of the abilities. But I'm assuming I'll see it if I go into their training. So yeah, him having more strength I think just makes more sense for casual movement. So I'm hoping that this will be the damage that I was missing in that boss battle. Yeah, so they got rid of the ability to use the hammer to get rid of the shrunken status, which really sucks. I don't know why they did that. I still think his power attack is pretty good. So let's take a look. Ah, uh, so luck. Luck does cause him to gain spells. So in which case... Can I check these? Damage to enemy not targeting the player increased by 15%. Yeah, Sturdy is literally never going to be relevant for him. So let's pump it up in luck. So he now has non-elemental damage. Which could be interesting. So that still gives him more options. Let's equip new abilities. Uh... Maybe equip him in Conflagration? Or no, 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 I should put them in this character. But for him, what should he have? Maybe... Already's lucky find. Ambush for free damage. Um... Stat down resist for allies, maybe? Continue training. Victory heal. Oh, is that in stamina? Over 10% of HP when enemy defeated. Eh. I don't know if he should be taking CS or not. I probably want at least one point here. Then the rest should probably go towards strength. Yeah, let's try something like this. So I might have to undo his spirit if this character doesn't learn any abilities. I'm assuming they do eventually. So we'll do knockback more successful. Maybe that'll be fine. Let's go to Reese. So there's Charger, which isn't useful. Ah, uh, so the stat downs cost nine spirit points. Stat down MP saver? Decrease MP needed for moves that decrease stats. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I want. So we can lower their defense, lower presumably magic resistance, and also weaken their strength. I think that's perfect. Oh, magic, magic attack and defense. Oh, that's a nice little two for one. Decrease enemy attack, we'll see. And let's use stat down MP saver plus... Maybe payback? No, let's get payback. So that way she could spam her abilities more often. I think that just kind of makes sense. So we're making sure Hawkeye is not targeted. So I'm assuming it means as long as he's not being targeted. It's kind of weird the way it frames it. It should be not targeting him, not the player. So presumably if he's... He's ambushing an enemy, as I'm assuming how it works. So let's try them out a little bit, see how we feel. Just making sure everything there is good. 
So I can change their costume. So if I like the other looks better, I could switch it. Let's test it out a little bit in combat. See how much damage we feel we're doing. Alright, we're doing a lot more damage per hit for sure. Because we're three-shotting them now. So that was a pretty big damage difference. So we now have the same ability the other boss was using. Yeah, I think that like extra five from the class level up makes a big difference. Because that fight went much faster. Alright, so I'm gonna hope the difficulty scales back down. We're gonna hope that this now is more manageable. Take this. So it is nice to see that classes do more in this game, because that was a big problem with what was there before. I'm going basically raw strength on this character. I'm assuming spirit at some point makes a difference. It's possible I didn't really need luck at all. Defense decreasing on crit is kind of sick, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, he didn't really unlock anything through spirit, sadly. But hey, him having new spells could be useful. Allow me. Okay, leave it to me. Dangerous. Oh yeah, he's doing as much as we were doing before the level up. That's a pretty significant increase. Aw, is it over? That's disappointing. It is up. To get in our way. So at least now I have some range options, I guess, to deal with them. I guess that's okay. We'll kill the harpy with its non flapping wings. So, what I'm probably gonna have to do is buy like a million healing items. So getting a little more gold there actually matters. Okay. So, I don't know. Am I feeling in the mood after the class level up to continue playing? I'll think about it. Let's walk to town. I'll at least go a little further to test out the characters. But yeah, it seems like we hit a pretty significant damage increase. Defense-wise, it feels a little better, but not perfect. Oh yeah, see that stat down right there? We're doing almost double damage. So that would have helped significantly in the other fight. So I'm glad we have Reese for debuffs. Because I don't- I'm not impressed with the buffs so far in this game. I mean, look at that damage with the new stat cap. I think also being able to train up like six points in strength made a huge difference. Let's go this way. Oh, I can't jump down there. Nope. Let's go this way. So we're basically two-shotting in werewolf form, which is good. Because I have a feeling we're going to have to solo carry, like, a lot. <laughs> right, chat? Given how this is going, I have a feeling we need to solo carry a lot. So I'm going to hope with the ranger ability, we sometimes save item usage. Maybe that's for the best. Hey! You're with those invading hooligans. Take that! And that! You can't fool us! Niccolo! Uh, brother! It's Mew! Help me! Niccolo? Do you recognize me? 
That's a relief. Please! My friend is from Novoral, but he was being controlled. This wasn't his fault. Please, spare him. <clears throat> Fine. As long as you're sorry, I guess we'll let it lie. Let's go. Uh, thank you for saving me. After you left Navarro, things went from bad to worse. Belladonna began taking over everyone in Navarro with her magic. Those who figured out her plan before she could corrupt them were taken out by her summoned meowsters until no one was left. Since Jessica was already under a curse, Belladonna's mind control magic didn't work. <laughs> Instead, she put Jessica in the fortress prison. They barricaded the walls since I broke view out of those cells. I couldn't do anything for Jessica. Then I fell to the mind control myself. It was bad news. <sighs> That's rough, Niccolo. It's probably not a good idea for you to return to Naval yet. Uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't protect Jessica. It's not your fault. Belladonna put Jessica in prison instead of harming her when her magic didn't work. For now, she's probably safe. Hmm. I guess we just have to find the rest of the elementals and break Jessica's curse with the Sword of Mana. Niccolo, go to the Citadel and tell the Amazons what you know. Oh, I's Mew Wish. Be seeing Mew. Um, Nicola is going to do a new ability. Item drop rank increased by 10%. Okay, so that's better than what I'm using currently. Okay, let's, uh, I guess do that. Hmm. Am I allowed to stack these? Oh, I can. Okay. Might be better for me to make cheaper class strikes, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe that's better for now. <gasps> Let's go ahead and plant some seeds. I mean, I've been collecting items pretty thoroughly, and I feel like I actually don't have enough to do more due to how many Cups of Wishes they needed. Elemental Bracelet. Uh, let's see what that does. That says that Poison and Shrink. That would have been useful earlier. So I got him the cicada earrings before. Now he has immunity to poison. So I was getting, I guess, one tier of armor down at least for accessory. But I, I need to improve their armor slightly. Maybe. Guess this should be fine for now. Hawkeye having the extra health is kind of funny to me. I mean, the, we saw it. The AI really needs it. Let's be, let's be real, chat. They really need it. Welcome. Let's rest, and then I think I'll stop for now, actually. I need to recover from that. Okay. So let's chant. Wow, what a difficulty increase. I can see where a little bit of our damage was, so I'm not going to complain about the damage on the boss. Is clearly the class upgrades added due to the stat cap increase, like 20 a hit. And if I was doing almost literally double damage there, the fights wouldn't have been as long. But yeah, I don't think my complaints are any different. I don't think being classed up would have stopped how many times they died. Would it have been as close? Would I have been at literally zero cups of wishes, zero candy, zero chocolate? Probably not. Would I have been at like two cups of wishes, two candy, two chocolate? Probably. 
And I think that's kind of the problem. Like, they just ate 80% of the resources between the two of them. Yeah, like, if they can't dodge and I can't damage cancel, I don't really know what to do. Like, this is kind of a problem. We saw that buffs were pretty terrible. Like, Strength Up lasted a pretty long amount of time. I don't think I had any issues with that one, so... You know, at least the thing that we spent the most money on still seems relevant. But I was really not impressed with the Elemental Claws. I think between the fighting a boss that just pushed you back all the time, and the fact that, like, you have to be locked into place, and then you just end up getting damaged over and over and over, it's, it's not the kind of game that I enjoy. Like... I, maybe for people that like want to play things like Monster Hunter or Dark Souls, I really do not like being locked into place in long animations. I thoroughly do not enjoy that as a player. So to have to chain items, and instead of it being like instant cast like it is in the SNES, I'm wasting like six to eight seconds in game between menuing and just being in this long ass animation and just getting hit for free. And then I need to heal, and it kind of ends up cyclical. So then combine that with the fact like the AI is just not going to dodge, and then if they need to heal, they're extra not going to dodge. So it's like... It, it just feels like a really bad gaming experience to me, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna hope that maybe, you know, with the class upgrade, I'm gonna kill them fast enough that it's less of a problem. But I was not thrilled. That reminded me of the end of our playthrough of the SNES, where it was just like near constant raw one shots, and there was nothing I could do other than damage cancel. Because that's kind of what it felt like. I think I knew what they were trying to go for with the boss, but it's like I literally used all of the elemental weapons on it. And then our allies just never got close enough to ever damage the boss. So like their buffs were completely wasted because they just never focused the boss. And like they did need to help a little bit with the enemies and they did get a few kills. So it's not like they weren't targeting things during the fight. But at the same time it made the boss fight take forever. And I think that's just the big problem with this game so far in comparison to the SNES version. Like if I have like a really annoying enemy at this point in time like they would just kind of bum rush them regardless of like a stun effect which they added in this game and i feel a lot of the time they're just not being as aggressive as like the snes version was like snes was basically attacking as soon as their attack was off cooldown i'm watching a lot of stuff where i watch them walk in walk out stand around then go back in again and attack it kind of reminds me of like a bad it reminds me of zestaria actually Re like remember mikleo when we told him to disable healing that's what it reminds me of where the ai is like trying to think and it's like it's like looking at a flow chart of what to do and it just doesn't quite understand what to do and then it just walks into attack and it, and it dies i was reminded very much of that so I'm going to hope that the difficulty goes down from here. If the difficulty climbs on like the next two boss battles chat, I might just put the game down. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want this to be a grind fest. I want to enjoy it. I want to skip battles where it makes sense to. I want to go through and maybe get a little cash here and there. So I'll go back and get some fights. But man, if, if it just wants me to be like perfect dodge rolls all the time, unless I'm like hugely power leveled, I just don't find that fun. I, I don't like to grind in games, so if I'm required to like grind super hard to beat this game, I just, I don't know. And it's weird because like, I don't think the game itself is like necessarily really hard. It's just more geared towards like really tedious grinding to hit like arbitrary stat points so i'm hoping between at least now let's say levels 18 to like 35 the game feels better we're probably gonna get a difficulty spike leading into 38 because the game will have assumed i have leveled and we'll deal with it when we get to that point but it better go like way down in difficulty when we go to the next dungeon i better not have to deal with the same nonsense in the snes version like remember the zombies in the snes that's coming up they were like literally like two or three shotting the party 
if they are that level of damage in the remake, I might just pause like on the spot because I am not dealing with like 140 damage do zombies that poison. So at least the game has given me like poison immunity because poison is pretty terrible in this game in terms of like how much damage it does compared to the SNES. But man, I don't know. Anyway, chat, we're gonna leave we're gonna leave our our thoughts there for now. I'll reflect on it. But yeah, that was uh That was not enjoyable to me. I beat it. I don't feel like it was skillful on my part. I feel like it was more like I micromanaged them a lot more in this battle than I normally do, and it still wasn't remotely good enough because our allies are just really stupid. Like th that that was my takeaway. So I mean it's I I'm not gonna have that impression shaken from me. I think as we go forward, I'm getting more frustrated with the AI. But with that, let, let's leave it there. So for now, if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.